to grab my phone. Sorry. Whoever's here, welcome, welcome. I'm going to be doing a little um, preparing for my dinner. I've got three chicken wings. I'm going to put it in a bag and put some stuff on it, let it sit for a couple, three hours, four, until I get ready to eat dinner. Um, Y'all can help me today, you know, I'm going to cook me a, going to cook me an egg sandwich in a minute, I have anything to eat today, you know, it's one of those days you want to not eat everything in the house day, which is good for me, uh, all right, I'm going to get my salt, my garlic powder, my pep, my pepper and my ginger and I will be plopping that on this chicken and then I got a marinade from uh, it's actually a dressing mix that came with some uh, salad mix but I don't eat salad but the salad mix was more like a uh, you could use it for a stir fry because it had a little of everything in it kind of thing it didn't have any lettuce. It was cabbage based. Cabbage, kale. So I'm going to take that and probably pour on this. It's a, uh, it was a honey mustard. So, but I'm going to get that going. Doing my pepper grinder in it. But, you know, um, some of y'all probably have never thought about taking your salad mixes and using them as a uh, stir and stir fries. Well, now if it's lettuce, uh, I don't know if you can take lettuce and cook it. Some people probably do, but I've never cooked lettuce. Now, my neighbor used to take, uh, I want to say lettuce, and she wilted it with hot, with hot uh, bacon grease. Uh, but, so this will not go to waste. I am just going to take this and put a hole in it. Oh, where my knife is, they're dirty. I got, and I, I got more under the, where my computer's sitting right now, but I can't get to it. So, poke a hole in it. Hello, welcome everyone. Pour this dressing mix in there. It ain't gonna hurt a thing. I know it's, you know, you can take dressings that you put on salads. I'm going to use them for your cooking. Did y'all not know that? Mm -mm. Not bad stuff. Not bad at all. Then you're just going to take it and squish it around and squish it around. Hello, whoever's here. I sent the link if anybody wants to come up. If y'all just want to watch, that's fine. But you, you know. But I will put this in my frying pan or my air fryer for my dinner tonight. And I'll probably use, uh, uh, have with it, not use, have with it is, uh, I've got some, uh, um, sweet potatoes. So, I will do that. But, yeah. But I got salt and pepper and ginger and garlic on it. Yeah. I got a reminder to start my video. Jeez. But I go on Facebook and I go on YouTube and I go on TikTok all at the same time. So. Anyway, you just set this in the fridge till you're ready to bake it. 
You could also take this if you wanted to and, and dip it in flour. And uh, make your fried chicken with it. But these are just chicken wings. But if you're trying to stay a little healthier, don't fry it. And it's going great. Welcome to my channel. You sound like you're somebody new, or do I know you from somewhere else? You know? Uh, welcome. It's going great. Uh, welcome into my channel. Excited. We're currently wrong, at the wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm not the mayor. The mayor of what? They just came from the most loving person city. They said you were the mayor. What? Huh? Oh, you're from TikTok or Twitch. Oh, you're from Twitch. Welcome. But no, I'm not the mayor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. But no. <laughs> My goal is right now is to get uh, a couple of hotel nights at Momocon in Atlanta, Georgia. I got the constant creator status. They had an application you can fill out. I don't know if it's still fit, if they've got it filled or not or full, but um, I want to go check it out. Momocon is um, if you don't know what that anyone doesn't know what Momocon is. Momocon is a gaming convention, anime gaming, tabletop gaming, computer gaming anime role play and they have contests of all kinds going on all weekend uh, they have a big merch floor i've seen it for the last two or three years from a lady named uh miss samantha and i said i want to go so i applied and forgot i applied and about a month ago they sent me a thing months back they sent me a thing saying that uh, your application was accepted and you can be a media. And I was like, what? And then I realized what I'd done. I forgot I'd done it. And that was back before Christmas. They put that out there. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So I hope y'all can still see and hear me. I'm over here at the kitchen stove. It's going to cook me something. Got to get that hot. So, anyway, I'm glad y'all are here. Welcome. I sent out the link. Oh, my friend Miss Carol's here, but I don't see where she is. And I see my friend Michael Ann. They're here. Hello. Hello, friends. Roxanne. Hi, Carol. Can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah, Hello. Hey. 
How's it going? It's going. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? How is it, Michael Ann? Pretty good. That's good. And we got a new. How you doing, sweetie? Name Carpet Noodle. He's from Twitch. I got a Twitch person here back. I don't know oh, him, no. but he's nice. Oh, um, oh, yeah. My phone. I don't know if you were here. Oh, I, made, no. I made. Did y'all see me do my chicken? I caught the end of it there. Yeah, the chicken wings. Yeah, I just put three chicken wings in a bag with the dress, and it came with a salad mix. But the salad mix was not lettuce based; it was a uh, cabbage based. So I'm using that salad mix for uh, my uh, stir fry. Ooh, that'll be good. I've got a, a butternut squash. I want to take and cut and I cook part. I cooked it part way, and I'm gonna take it and cook it with some of the salad mix. Then I'm gonna puree it all together and you know make a that way. Put a carrot in it with it too, probably, and make you know the soup that way. But I'm fishing to cook me an egg. And then I'm gonna wash my dishes. I haven't eaten anything today. Uh, I've been slow. Got up at 10 15, 10 20. Taking it slow. So it's one of those days. I hear you. I got my paint color mixed up. Uh, what I do with it? I don't know if y'all be able to sell the color, but I think I'm gonna if I go out this week and I find another blue color and mark down, you know, the little bitty samples. Yep. I will uh, add to it. It's a bluish gray, which is fine, but I think I want it just a little bit darker. I don't know. If I don't find it, I'm gonna stick with this color because I can't take it back. Nope. <laughs> can't undo it. No, I can't undo it. So I like it, but I just think a little more blue, maybe. I don't know. So, but anyway, I'm just going to fry me an egg. Make me a piece of toast, maybe, to go with it. My cousin gave me these eggs. And I probably should have done used them, but. Fresh eggs don't go as bad as a store-bought egg. Nope. So. But the problem is, I could tell I should have done used them up because the yolk is breaking and not staying whole. So, anyway. Whoa, what are y'all up to today? Probably not a heck of a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Carol got kicked, I guess. Oh. I, I should be doing dishes, but I got up right. early, got up early with a dog, let him out. My back was aching, so I laid back down, went back to sleep for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then he wanted out again. So yeah. I've been up since probably 930. Oh. Well, I woke up earlier, but I just rolled over and kept kind of daydreaming. Like, do I want to really get up today? You ever had those days? Yep. So. I just realized while I was sitting here watching you cook, I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't kept track of what I've eaten so far today. Had a smoothie earlier, and I had an egg salad sandwich Later on, I bought some of that carb bread. Yeah. It's pretty good. But I bought the original and realized I just had my third sandwich out of it today. I realized later yesterday, I was looking at the ingredients and it's not gluten free. It has wheat in it. And that's how that, no wonder my gut feels weird. Uh oh. But I'm not tossing out a, a loaf of bread that I spent almost eight dollars on so right i used up the egg salad today so i'll give it a break for a while and i got a can of tuna i think upstairs i'll maybe have tuna sandwich next week or something out of it but yeah i would say i'd make some 
French toast out of it, but I boiled all my eggs. <laughs> uh uh. Oh well. Let's borrow one of my uh not borrow. Grab one of my son's eggs. Cause you I'm know, go I right did, here. <laughs> I did find some sugar free maple syrup at the dollar store of all places. Is it real maple syrup? No. No, it's a genuine imitation stuff, but it's sugar free, so I thought, eh. That way if I, I I found recipes for keto pancakes, but I thought, well, there's no sense of making keto pancakes if I got nothing to put on them. Right. Now I got syrup and I still have some berries. I thought I could make keto pancakes or I can I can make some French toast. Have yeah. a little bit of syrup and a little bit of berries. If I have a steak yeah. I was flying for tonight, so right. Steak and mushrooms and probably some green beans. Well, I'm gonna cook that chicken and probably I don't know the uh, potatoes. You know, I bought those little cute potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes, and I'll probably cook a few of those with the chicken. So. My thinking for dinner, or I have been known to say I'm going to do so and so, and then I ended up, uh, I end up doing something completely different. So, yeah, well, I got a steak, I got a can, a couple cans of mushrooms in the in the cupboard, right? And frozen green beans, and I was like, I can use those. Right. I'm getting to work it out with salad with it. So I'll probably just have the green beans and mushrooms. That's a thick piece of bread. It didn't get cut right. That is. Huh. It's it's the end slice to it. A lot of people throw the end slices away. I don't throw the end slice. Not on the brioche bread. Well, if I don't, brioche. if I don't okay. use them in, like, say, French toast or a uh, sandwich or something, I, I will put them up. If I have a mesh bag and I let them dry out, and then I make breadcrumbs. Yeah, that sounds good too. I don't. Think so. Yeah. So anyway, got a whole jar full of homemade breadcrumbs. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm going to toast up this one more piece. So it's probably supposed to be two because I can see where it started to cut it, but it didn't cut it. So, anyway. But what else I got to do today? Nothing. Clean. I think tomorrow I'm going to do another cleaning video in my spare bedroom. Unless people don't want to watch it. It's uh, one of a couple of drawers that I've got to clean out where the rats got in there. And I just ignored it. I just ignored it. It's, you know, craft stuff and other stuff. It's time to go through it and, and yeah. get... Get another thing done. If I do one corner a week or two, you know, I think I'm doing better than I was. Or a little bit helps. Yeah. The other day, what did I do? I did uh, cleaned out my tote the other day. So I could do some more in my room, but <laughs> I went and brought my computer down here today, so it was like. I went up to get dressed and looked and thought, I need to fix my bed. The, the mattress cover and the sheets have come off at the top. And it's like. All right. I should go through some more stuff in my, my one craft closet, but. I don't feel like it today. That's me. That's why I thought I'd do a live and do some washing my dishes. Because about the six or eight pieces. Or more that are in the sinks. They've got to be washed, you know. So why not? Why not? 
or are you a lot of talking? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I need to do some too at some point today. Yeah. So I put out another video last night on my uh, Marietta, Taste of Marietta. Uh, I've I seen it there, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. What is. I've been kind of lazy just watching videos this morning, but I haven't got too far. I went into. Um, go ahead. No, I went into the one group live this morning. That was about it. Who was live yeah. today? Oh, the. Eddie? The Eddie and Mustard Drill and uh, oh, Jeremy and yeah. yeah, they're live every day, but I, I can't get going. I caught the end of it. <laughs> well, usually I'm not awake sometimes. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. So, I don't know I should get up earlier, but I stay up too late. I no, stayed up till 1 o'clock. 1 30 last night same <laughs> yeah so but saturday when i went to the taste of marietta there was no free parking left and when they built that facility they didn't build enough parking and so i left and i said well i'll try it when i get back from the grocery store but i said no i'll probably have some meat or some kind and i can't do it so i just said let so when i got out you go down one one and a half kind of blocks and there's another street and you turn on that street well there's parking there too but i took that parking and made it vip i said what's vip i asked the lady she said oh that's the county workers and the the mayor the police anyone that works for the city you know kind of thing and I said, okay. She said, well, that gentleman there can show you the park. And he, I rolled down, was talking to him when I went and rolled down. And he said, I said, how do you get away with doing this? He said, well, it's my yard and the two neighbors on each side from the, from their house. We can all, uh, I can let people park. And, but you, you pay me whatever you think you want to pay me for this, for this, you know, outing. And I said, okay. So I paid him $2, but I met him in the grocery store again. We got to talking, but I don't remember his name. He was a nice looking guy. So I know I forgot his name. I gave him my name, gave him my Adventures with Roxanne channel, but I haven't heard from him. So yeah, we got talking about groceries in the grocery store. He liked was the ones I was at and, he also likes going to Sprouts. And he goes there. He said, I go every Wednesday to Sprouts. And I get there about 9 o'clock. And he said, I, every week I find some kind of meat marked down to a dollar. Wow. And it's not. he said a lot of times it's not out of date. It's just that every night the manager likes to put out fresh in the morning. So I figured their fresh meat must come in on Thursdays. That's what he figured, because he said, I've gone on other nights just to see. And I found out Wednesday's the, the best night. So, I said, I would love to have that Sprouts closer, but I don't drive at night. So, I would go on Wednesdays, but maybe earlier in the day before it got mm -hmm. dark. Um, oh, what, what day is it? Last, last Friday, I took the bus over with the one shopping plaza and uh hit the dollar store and a couple of the grocery stores i did pick up some uh a little bit of meat that was on sale and some that w wasn't but i go to a lot of these stores and it's like they have the great big package it's gonna cost you 20 something dollars well sometimes i don't have that 20 something dollars to throw on one, one package of meat right and the one grocery store, they will do smaller packs of meat. Like, there's a lot of seniors' apartments nearby there. So, it's nice 
say a, a senior person goes over there that they will only want one chicken breast or one little steak or i got a little pack of uh beef that's cut up for like stir fry like a small pack i don't i don't need a great big huge pack all the time so i went there and got i got a steak I got the stir fry beef i think i was I got a small pack of pork chops, like some smaller things. So I got more variety of meat. And then they had yeah. some sausages on sale too, so I grabbed those. So Yeah, I did a stir fry yesterday. Saturday when I went to the store and they had this pack. It was stir fry meat. Uh, and so I cooked it and ate it out. I cooked it two meals yesterday and ate it. I was going to make stew out of it, but I got to thinking sometimes when you buy real thin pieces of meat, even though you're cooking it a long time, it doesn't make you tender because it's too thin. Mm -hmm. So I just stir fried it yesterday. Okay. I'm thinking if I take one of those packs of stir fry beef out tonight, I don't, all, I don't use all the mushrooms. I'll just take what I need for my steak and then the rest of the mushrooms. I could throw some broccoli, mushrooms, and beef together tomorrow. That would be a good stir fry. Oh, that would. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Like you get for Chinese, the beef broccoli and <laughs> stir fry type thing. Yeah. I reused my bottle and put water in it, so don't worry, folks. <laughs> I'm not drinking as many. I was. I start. I you know. I don't drink a lot of carbonated drinks, but I got to where in the last couple of months, I'm drinking two or three of these a week, and that's more than I usually drink. So I've cut back. I hadn't had one in about five days. Good for you. Yeah, I I were looking at how many calories in it. 120 calories for this little bottle, and I said I don't need. To drink those. And, and the wines, you know, since I'm trying to cut back on what I eat. And I cut back on the wine. with I but I do wine and ginger ale or wine and 7-Up or what I got in the house. So, I decided I might as well cut back on those. Because that's a lot of, a lot of carbs in it. Yeah, well, you said that... You sit back and look what's up. Like, I was watching a um, oh, video yesterday, one of the families I follow, and they had gone to Costco and they picked up all these new treats. And it's like, well, this is a healthier version of um, these. I forget what the, they're called. But it was like, oh, it's a healthier version of uh, like um, a Mounds bar. Was, right because that dark chocolate on it it was like 170 calories for one and it was only about yay big and i'm like no thanks <laughs> i don't know if they did it in canada but about i guess it's been about 10 years ago they had that uh, snickers bars and it said low calorie snickers bars and my husband being a diabetic said oh that would help me out so we picked it up. I said, let's see what the regular one is. All it was was a half a size of the regular candy bar with half the calories. James says, I'm going to do that and pay twice the price. I might as well get a regular candy bar and eat half of it. Yeah. So you have to watch it. They get you that way. Now, I don't remember what I was looking at in the store. But it was packaged two different ways the item was and in one package it had it was this thing and in one package it had it was uh something else hey train bluff boy you're new to my channel or you got a new name let's see Hmm. For some reason, well, anyway, you're new. Welcome. Okay. Sound, that train bluff boy sounds like a Minecraft name. 
Like you play, like you're a gamer. Looks like it. I don't know. Well, I, I, I welcome all friends, new friends, old friends into the channel. Yep, we're gamer. Uh, yeah, you're. I figured you're a gamer. If you're, do you know what MomoCon is? It's a gaming convention in Atlanta. Anime gaming, tabletop gaming, PC gaming, role play. But anyway, that's where I want to go. Those are the only ones I, I've been to is one in Hamilton, Ontario. We went twice called Con Bravo. Yeah? It was fun. We went the year before the year before the boys got involved with live action role play. Mm -hmm. We met some people down there. We got talking to them from, from the underworld community. And the one family, there's the mom and the dad and two of the sons that were involved. Mm -hmm. Ended up walking over to, sitting at A&W grabbed something to eat and talking for like a couple hours about LARP and then they were trying to talk my oldest into going the following weekend because it was a an event the following weekend but he wasn't going to go with without his his best buddy because that was something they were going to get involved in together and his buddy didn't turn 18 till till february and this was in june i think mm -hmm. so the following april they had oh well, they had um they have a similar thing here but it's not really a right it's not really a con it's they call it pop the pop uh pop culture show it's like a smaller mm -hmm. version but anytime i've gone they've always had like tons and tons and tons of comics well not everybody's into comics like right well people, people are into gaming then i don't know how it's got bigger now that, that in the last few years but anyways once my adopted son as i'll put it turned 18 at that february in that april they had the pop culture show here and we had gone and we ran into some people that had been at con bravo but they were starting a guild of underworld down in london which was like an hour closer to us compared to like five six seven hours away so that's how we got involved with the group in london wow and that was in i was like no 10 11 years ago mm -hmm. and actually pop culture show was just this past weekend but i didn't go <laughs> is it it's fit to get in uh, last time i went which has been probably about four years it was before the pandemic i don't think i've been yeah four or five years it was like mm -hmm. 10 bucks to get in it was real cheap that's not bad because uh MomoCon daily pass is fifty dollars, and then if you buy it for the whole time, it's like I think it was like eighty something dollars. I thought if I was going, I would buy the whole, yep. whole pack. Well, since I was gifted, I guess you call it gifted. I signed up for their creative. Uh, their media and i got it so but the thing is the hotel can be up to 199 dollars depending on which one i go mm -hmm. to and then i thought that's a lot of money so I, just, I put it in god's hands and if he wants me to be able to go for at least a couple of nights you know i'll go i could go for the day and uh come back but i don't want to drive in downtown Atlanta. i don't want to drive coming home at night 
And if you're going to any of these conventions, it's a good thing to to stay as close to the convention as you can get because mm-hmm. there are a lot of things that happen after the convention closes if you buy the ticket for them. And for as I understand, the ticket that they're giving me is going to let me get into any of the after and before hand stuff. So I'll know more in May. They're going to they'll start emailing at us all again in May that we've got to go in. So that's it. The big one down there is it Dragon Con? Yes. Uh, friends, friends of my, well, actually my Jose, my friends of my my son, but it actually it, it was my coworker from the doctor's office. Her oldest son and his now ex girlfriend went down to that one year. I seen pictures of that. That was pretty cool. I would love to go to Dragon Con, but not really, because Dragon Con is spread out from for about five miles wide. It's not in one central location. And I don't want I don't want to walk to one building to one building to one building. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the other one, but not it's not in uh not in Atlanta. Um now, last Two weeks ago, I think it was, I just had PAX East. That's what I was just just looking up. (laughs) March March 21st to the 24th was uh, PAX East. My my adopted son went to that. Oh, probably. (gasps) Not not this one. He went back uh, probably 10 years ago. Yeah. Now, PAX. It was a friend. He got really sick there. Mm-hmm. He got really sick there, and he was messaging me quite often because it's like they were doing doing stuff, and then he get they get back to the hotel, and they, he was just feeling like crap. <laughs> yeah. The Pax East has more like a TwitchCon <clears throat> or one of the YouTube conventions. It's more geared. Uh, they do have all that gaming and stuff too, but you have a lot of um, uh, not shows, panels you can go to, mm-hmm. and you can go to them. And uh, you might want to go into one that says they can help you get sponsors, or you go into one and uh, the panel is all about uh, some big famous YouTuber. They can be far away. There was another one that was last month. I believe it was last month. It might have been, or it might be this month. Anyway, there's one in Savannah, Georgia, and I'd never heard of it. But it's an uh, anime convention. It's basically, you know, so I'm sure anime, some of it's uh, gaming too, but mostly that one's an anime. So... I went to the the, uh, the one here. In the beginning, the first couple of years, they had panels, but then other times we went and they didn't have anything. So it was like people just wandering around in this big room. Right. Now I love going to the merch. I don't buy a lot of merch, but when I, but you can also get free things in the merch. I don't know a lot about anime either. I watch a couple that play games in arcades, and they love getting these um, prizes that are anime and are like uh, not necessarily all anime, but um, Karopi. It's a Japanese thing, you know. The little egg guy that's a, it's a little egg, you know, and. Oh, they like getting all that kind of stuff, and that's what you see at anime. And I'm just not, not yeah, I've not really, you know, watched any of it. So. My kids were into a little bit growing up, but my, my daughter-in-law is more into that stuff. And Right. 
to go to these conventions, I was like, like these people dressed up for like who are they supposed to be? <laughs> oh, yeah. that's just a touch from the, so this like whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I don't know much about this MomoCon. I just seen the lady who goes to it, and when I found it by accident, on um, you know, I decided let me see what this is all about. I applied and got it because I think Miss Samantha gets it every year, and so I said she can do it, I can do it. We all started about the same time doing our YouTube channels. Well. She soon got way up there and they left me in the dust and Yes, M O M O Con, yeah. So they left me in the dust, you know, and I, I, I said, oh, Well, I don't have to hang on the coattails of somebody that was this person they hung on the coattails to. He wasn't really big, but he had at the time he had something to do with Minecraft something with the one of the conventions you know hey joe so so anyway i don't know but this has been fun learning new things and meeting new people but to think about the momocon it's like uh the May 24th to the 27th. But I leave June 3rd to go to uh, Germany. So I don't want to be rushed to get my stuff ready for Germany. Right. Yeah. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going So if I can get a couple of days in at MomoCon, I think I'd be doing good. Even though I got a four-day pass. You know, and I have someone who says they'd take me down there, but I don't really want anything to do with the fella. Right. Yeah, you know, that person, and I says... Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, and my cousin, I asked her if her and Bryson wanted to go, and I would pay. But then when I looked at it, it was going to be $85 or $50. I said, that's a little too much. I said, if Donna wants to go, she'll have to fork over the money. And I and we'll split the hotel room. But she'll have to fork over the money for her and Bryson to get in. Because they've already closed, as far as I know, they've already closed the people that can go in uh, as uh, media or uh, constant creators. And they, neither one of them are really a constant creator, so... Joe, if you live by me and you could drive, we'd, I'd let you take me. Because you'd have your boyfriend in the back seat. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, uh, I don't live close enough either. <laughs> no. So, anyway. Throwing away my paper so I can get this dishes turned on. So. Anyway, I know I'm funny, but I know you're going to be a fella someday. You're not going to be alone the rest of your life. Yeah, my friend Joe's partner died uh, a little over a year ago. Sorry to hear that. Timber. Well, anyway. Yeah, but he lives in Wales, and he can't drive. Some for medical reasons, and some not. So. That's a little I mean, for downtown. If I do that, that me save me a little money. Parking is sixty dollars at the hotel. Wow. Yeah, you're going to pay a hundred. One of the hotels starts at $157, I believe. <laughs> yeah, you drive me up the wall. 
yeah, but one hundred fifty nine, one hundred fifty seven dollars, I believe it was, up to one hundred ninety nine dollars, depending on which one of the hotels you choose at. The farther away ones were a little cheaper, but I'm not gonna walk a couple of miles to get to the convention center. So no. I'm just, I'm just praying that maybe somehow someone comes through, you know. I see all these bigger YouTubers get a hundred dollars of of a live. So. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna start those dishes in just a second, but I am going to do something. I don't know how to do it. Maybe you do. Do you know how to give anyone a uh uh what do you call it? A subscription to your channel? No, I don't. I know they say you have to do it when you're live, but I'm 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 not live. Well, you, I don't know if a moderator can do it or not. I have no idea how that mm -hmm. works. I'm trying to figure that out. I can share. Uh, I don't know how. Uh oh, somebody's coming in there. Je jealous, better leave their, their Roxy alone or else. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I don't, a lot of my friends, you know, I don't know why everybody is on my YouTube channel. When they show up, I'm glad. But does anyone know how on a phone to? Give someone a membership. I can share, I can report, I can clip. Mm, okay, live. I can go. Hey, Joe, nobody. Okay, whoops. Where are y'all playing Minecraft at right now? Membership. All right. Let's see if I can do it there. On the, on the YouTube side, if I go down and click where that dollar sign is. On the phone? Should, I don't know on phone. But. I'm on. I, I don't. Well, let me open my YouTube side. No. Well, I could open. I don't know how to open my YouTube side on my computer. Let me go to. When I look down at where the little dollar sign is, right? I click, the, I click on that. It says "Show support for Adventures with Roxanne." Super sticker, super chat, membership, and membership gifting. Do I have to do that, or can you do that? I or don't. No. No, I think right, you. Gonna... I think you were able to do it for so many times or so many whatever. But if I do it, it costs money. Okay. Let's see if I can open it. I'm going. All right. All right. All right. Dollar sign. Join. Where it says join. It might be. Is that over there? Nope. No, it wants me to pay a dollar ninety nine. Where's the dollar sign? Well, on my on my PC down at the bottom of on YouTube where it says chat and then it has the emojis and then it has like a dollar sign in a box there. Oh, I see it. Okay, I can all right, I can gift. All right. I can gift membership gifting. I can gift five now. So I gave out five. So everyone that's here, or sometimes you don't have to be here. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's four people that got it that aren't even in this chat. <laughs> and you got it. Yeah. Okay. I keep forgetting to do that. I want to start doing that. So. Uh, Joe Nobody, Mama Four Boys, Unoriginal, The Word 9%, and Ark Wildman Survival were gifted numbers. See, I got a Wildman Survival from him yesterday. And I, I know who he is. He's one of my mods, but I don't go on his channel all the time. I used to love to go sing karaoke, and I didn't go yesterday, and I hadn't done it in a while. So, but then I was gifted one to another channel that I was on three or four days ago. And I, so I guess whoever's on your, whoever's an actual just member of your channel, I guess can free gift. Yeah. So I can, I don't know how many times I can gift it. I can probably do it again. It says I can do it more than once. Yeah, I can get five more. So I'm going to go 10 because nobody's paying for them. So let's see who else gets them today. See, I don't even know who Alice Max Max so I don't even know who they are, you know? on my channel so they got them maybe if i start doing this it will bring more people back to my channel if i start giving gifts out you're getting unlucky oh same here train but yeah maybe no, Jordan, sharon trinity easter host well, the next one I do will be the next time I go live. You don't know how it works. All I know is if I wanted to do memberships where I had I have levels, but none of my levels are really much anything but the same level because I have to do extra videos if I wanted to on the second and third level. I'm not going that far. I could do private lives for people. I'm not going that far. I'm just putting my name out there so people will know who I am. And if they want to come and be part of my, my channel, whether I get anything out of it or not, I don't care. So I'm just here because my husband passed away. I was already doing Minecraft about once a month on a live. And I said, I'm going to do it more often. So I did. And I'm over 2,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Uh, you know. Yeah. Now, I, I, mean, I, I have a lot of friends that don't have hardly any subscribers, and I have some that have the uh, YouTube flat. So, depending on what you want to work for. My goal is to basically, before I die, I might get that flat, but it might take me 12 years. 20? No. Right now, I'm just having fun. So. Right now, I'm just working on my first goal to get partially monetized. 78 subscribers away. <laughs> At a whole bunch of a whole bunch of hours yet, but oh well, I'll get there. You'll It'll be nice there. to get there before. It'll be nice to get there before the cruise. Right. Which is six months away. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for my birthday this year, okay. I'm thinking about going to Florida again uh, to see my daughter. Maybe go to Tampa. I can go to Bush Gardens or I can go to SeaWorld. I can go gambling. So go go to the go to the aquarium. There's two YouTubers that work there. <laughs> Who works there? Matt and Kimbra from Fantastic Cruising. I don't know if I have their channel. Remember the talk 
t talking to a few of us from the board backstage one time? Yes. So we're getting to know you. Okay. So it's Meg and Matt and Kimbra. You're, I hear you talking, but you're froze. My computer's being stupid at the moment. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to look at something and then trying to get back to your stream yard. Okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't me. I'm still here. <laughs> My grandson okay. loves the aquarium. Let me ask, send me their links later. They work, both work at the aquarium and it's right near the cruise port. In Tampa. In Tampa. Yeah, that might be something we could do. Well, I had a friend who wanted me to go and do something with her for my birthday. And then she said, well, I don't really have the money. So, I mean, I'm not doing like I did last year. Last year, stupid. last year, I paid all the gas. Part of the hotel, most of the hotel. All uh, right. If, here, if anybody wants to go with me and they can't split it with me, they're not going. Because nice rocks in the left of building. You know, I don't mind. If I'm getting using my points and I'm gonna be there anyway. You wanna yeah. You know, but well, someone can weird. still charge them still charge them for for part of those points because you had to you paid for them, you know, by buying your groceries or your gas or whatever. So anybody wants to you know like, if you live around there and want to come meet me, and I'm telling you I'm going to be at so-and-so restaurant, or I'm going to be at the aquarium, or the casino, and y'all want to come in and meet me, that's a different story. But, you know, from here on out, if, if we can't split it 50-50, or however many is going to be in the same room, no. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you, but you're not moving. Well, I'll look over on um, StreamYard. It's a black screen. If I we'll look over at the uh, YouTube side, I'm frozen. Yeah, you're frozen on YouTube, Ann, but you're a black screen. On StreamYard side, I'm not just seeing the black screen. Right. For me. For me. So I might just I might go out and come back in. Okay. See if that works. My friend just takes me his grandfather's. Yeah, his my friend from Texas, his grandfather has been real sick. They had him get number of men, but he got he took a turn for the worse again, so they're putting him on hospice. Keep my friend Lucas in your prayers. He's a Minecrafter. So, anyway, I get some more soap. But no, I go live about once a week, twice a week. Sometimes doing my dishes, sometimes playing Minecraft, sometimes just sitting down talking. Uh, I'm gonna go live when when I get the pattern I want. I want I I got some crochet yarn I found. I want to make something. I'm not sure what I want to make. So, uh, I'm back. <laughs> I know you're back. So, but in the next week or two, I'm going to try to figure out a crochet pattern I want to make. I don't play on the Xbox. I play on my PC. I'm looking for a new channel. I'm looking for a new channel, a new, what do you call it, server that's just now starting on Minecraft that's got an economy, you know, server economy, not a player economy. Because those never work for me. Nobody wants to buy my stuff because, you know, I don't buy from other people if I, unless I really, really have to because I can get it myself. But I'd rather sell to the server. Oh, yeah, I've played on the hive before, but I'm not into all those really game games. I want a, I want a regular Minecraft server, not a, 
not playing the games. I played those games, some of those games before. Me and my friend used to play bed wars, but I don't build over, so I'll wait till them build over and I cover up the bed. And that one used to be okay. We didn't win a lot, but we had fun. So, anyway. I've watched my kids play. That's about the extent of it. Right. And I play with my co uh, my cousin's little grandson. He's 10. But he has to play on my... I have two accounts on Minecraft. So when we're together, he takes my other computer and uh, he plays on it. But my dog dropped that computer off the table while we was on vacation. He got tangled in the cord. And I no longer have a video. I can't... A picture. My camera's not working. So, I either need to go get it fixed, but every time you open a laptop, you have the risk of messing it up more because of the parts are so compacted. Or just wait for another sale and get another computer. So, I don't know anybody in Douglasville that I would take it to. And the last place I took it to, one of my computers too, they messed it up so bad. It was already messed up, but they messed it up so bad that it wasn't even fixable. They gave me my money back and my computer, and I gave it to my nephew to see if he could get it fixed. Because he had a friend that does it as a hobby. Well, I haven't heard back from him. Said, oh, well. I have to ask Sam, did he ever do anything with it? If he got it fixed where it will work, I'd have it. You can cross play now. We have only one guy I trust to work on computers. He used to, used to work at the Staples Business Depot thing, and then he went started his own business. And we take well, taking stuff yeah. there, but. He's been off sick lately. But they say laptops, if, they, if something really goes wrong with them, it's probably easier to just get a new laptop. So I don't know. Like the one I'm on now, typing, and it comes out O-M-E. The C got stuck. It should have been a C-O-M-E. <laughs> And I don't pay attention until I send it. And I'm going, oops. You know, the L gets stuck. The K gets stuck. And several of the letters don't. You have to keep hitting them and hitting them. Then they type three or four of the C's or the L's. And I, no. So, but I'm not. This computer is not that old. Someone said go get your can of air and try that. There's also, you can take... Uh, chemicals you can buy and a cloth and wipe it if a friend makes a world they have to go in through their um computer somehow or another and give you their computer ip they got it's a whole thing to set it up i've got mine fixed that way but i don't do it too often and i mainly only did it with four people that i knew I did it with five, but one don't play anymore. She just said that she thought it was to play with someone uh, way older than her that was old enough to be her grandmother. And I said, okay. You you helped me learn Minecraft, and I thank you for it. Okay. Uh, you can't do the land unless you live in the same house. Play on land, that's in the same house kind of thing. But, like, I play on Rexcraft. Crap, but Rexcraft is not starting over as far as I know. But I want a server that has just started over. I've got a place on Rexcraft I haven't played in months. And the bell top is really high, so that's why I want a new server. 
you just have to go in and hunt for new servers. And uh, most of them now you can play from Bedrock to Xbox, PC all together. It's just that your 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 layout looks a little different than my layout. So I, I could play Bedrock, but I don't like Bedrock. So I play Java. So anyway, a couple more things to get and wash. Yeah, I need to pick the power behind me. Now I don't know if y'all do this, but when you wash your dishes and you've cooked with any kind of grease, wipe out the excess grease. Don't pour it down your sink. I learned the lesson the hard way some years ago. And then over the years, my sink will stop up sometime. A friend of mine who cuts my grass, he, he got it unstopped. So, the, the baking grease that goes in the can on the counter, if it's anything else, I wipe it out. Or yeah. if it's... A, or if it's just a tiny bit of something, I run hot water before I even stick it in there. Well, I try I to wipe mine out, even though you're doing the hot water. It still can cause yep. it to, uh, over the over the months and all, uh, sometimes the grease will stay stuck. Even though you're putting that hottest water down there, it will stay stuck. And over time, it builds up, and that's what happened. So, we hope we got it unstuck don't do it too often. It was... Yeah. Another thing you can do is put baking soda and vinegar down the sink. To, you know, to get it unstopped. Or keep, that helps it keep flowing. But if you don't do anything like that regular, it can still build up on you. Train Buff Boy does model trains. Cool. Cool. Where are you from? The U.S. or somewhere else? I do the uh, vinegar and baking soda quite often in the summer times. Yeah. Um, for the, about, about once a summer, I have with, um, fruit flies. Right. And they will try to lay eggs in your drain too. So it's like every so often during the summer I'll just put some baking soda and vinegar just to keep that area clean. Yeah. Ma Massachusetts? Mass? Massachusetts? I think that's what that means, Massachusetts. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. It ain't Missouri. I think M-A-S-S -S 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 is Massachusetts. Because M I S S is uh, yep. Mississippi. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't know why my friend Carol left. She probably was having a. She has Parkinson and she has sometimes gets to where when she's holding the phone up because that's all she's got, it makes her shake and you yeah. know, start having problems. So she has to get off. Uh, anyway, but one last thing to wash for tomorrow. Uh, when I find everything I need for the bedroom, I'm gonna take my mop and mop the walls so I can clean it. I don't want to get on the ladder when I can take them up with just wet water. A little bit of the spray I got and clean off my walls and then get ready to paint. My cousin's coming on Saturday and we're supposed to anyway. But we're going to probably paint on, if she doesn't change her mind. She said she'd come Saturday. We'll paint a little bit and then maybe go to Six Flags for a little bit. 
Uh, you I know, I would, like, I would like someone that's in Georgia that's not going to charge me an arm or leg to come help me do some of this. But. You said I don't hate you, boy. What? Hey, son. Hey, bro. Hey, Michael and son. I forgot you were doing that. Roxanne. <laughs> She's like she's live, yeah. Well, she just got a little like <laughs> I don't think she'll get copyrighted for that. What? You don't uh, think it was one to one? <laughs> uh, you didn't sing it long enough. I resent that. <laughs> no, I love it. But yeah, I live close to Six Flags Over Georgia. It used to be to get there. But with the way they did the roads now and everything, it takes about 20 minutes to get there. Uh, but I bought a pass this year. I, had, I have not been to Six Flags since 2001. Oh, you're two hours. But I'm 20, about 20 minutes. But my daughter graduated 2001. So 2000. She went off to college, so it had to be in 2002. Because we bought, my brother got one pass that's off one of the radio stations. And he, you're frozen. Anyway, he took us again. He took me with him and my other brother. And we all went and had a pretty good time at Six Flags over Georgia. But we bought this uh, doll, porcelain thing, statue. It said joy on it. I think she was an angel. She's in there somewhere. He bought it for joy because of her name. I, she might have been. No, I don't think she was with us. Hmm. Wow. I love watching YouTubers that go to amusement parks. I found someone on my channel. Remember who the girl is? She, Michael Ann may remember. But anyway, I can't remember her name. She uh, had six likes close to her. And she was videoing. And I said, that gave me the idea to uh, do six likes. <laughs> Even if I don't ride anything, just walking and having fun. I don't ride the big roller coasters. There's a ride my cousin went in and her, her grandson and husband. Well, they didn't tell me what the ride was. Well, if I knew it was just like a sit down in this thing and you stop to get points, I would have went in there and I spent, I spent an hour or more waiting on them to get in and out of there. And I said, I could have went in there with them. So next time I know. I do those kind of rides. And I've been watching a girl named uh, Bonet. I think it's her name. Bonet Tate from England. Uh, I watched her. I'm watching her cruise. That she's on a six week. I mean 60 day cruise. And that cruise. She's not finished with the videos on that yet. So the, that will come out. I don't day or tomorrow but it'll come out again but then i went back and i started watching her uh disneyland california trip a disney uh world trip and now to her uh i'm gonna start watching her disney parish trip about four or five weeks after they went to disney world in florida last in 22 they went to paris and on their cruise, they went to Disney Hong Kong. I didn't know there was a Disney in Hong Kong. I didn't eat. Or did I? I don't yeah. know. Well, the closest amusement park to me is Toronto, which is Canada's Wonderland. But I haven't been there in probably 10 years at least. Yeah, one of our friends that I, we have, uh, they go to Bush Garden and in Wilmington, don't they? Uh, is it Sharon, the captain? Sherry. Is it Sherry that goes and her husband? Could be. I know they go to Bush Garden, but I don't know if it's one in Florida or Wilmington. 
Anyway, probably Florida because they're they are near. Which I can't remember which cruise part they're near. The so monster. I love the monster match. Are to get in and out of those. They need new. They need new boats. These boats are the hardest to get in and out of. I know I'm short, but you got to step down in it, and to get in there, the passages. I'm not. A, I'm not as big as I used to be, but still, the little breezeway to get into the seat wasn't that easy. Turn it. She did a live the other day from. Report. Yeah. Oh, uh, can't even think what her channel is now. Cruising, cruising fun? No. Destination fun. So, they were somewhere the other day and asked, where were we? And they were at Epcot. Did you, did you know there's also, it's not a park, but it's a Disney themed resort in Hawaii? Didn't know that. I got a thing came across Facebook the other day, and I'd seen it a long time ago. Um, but I it was uh went a trip there, and it said you got four park hop hoppers. I said I looked up, and I don't see anything about a Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Adventures, Disney anything in Hawaii, except a, a hotel resort place. Uh, Sherry was live from the Port of Tampa the other day. Yeah, unless I overlooked it, I don't know about a Disney World Land venture or anything in Hawaii except the, except the resort with the hotel and Disney characters all over the place. So, no. so and uh, Universal... You know, it's in Orlando, too. Been there. Yeah, there's a... Uh, there is a Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida, yeah. But did you know, uh, I watched the ukuleles from Singapore. They're actors, and right now they're not in Singapore. They were in London, UK somewhere. But in Singapore... They have Universal, and the whole two years I've been watching them, a year and a half, yeah, about a year and a half to, she has never once mentioned that they have a Universal Studios in Singapore. Where is the uh, Nintendo World going to open? Because they got one in Japan, but it's not that really great. They got the. Yeah, the one in Japan I watch. Uh, is it Pablo? Hey. No. A Aolani? Disney Resort and Spa in Ko uh, Olino, Hawaii. That's the only thing I can see come up. Yeah. I, well, I want to go to Hawaii. And, you know, sightseeing, take a cruise. But I want one of those cruises where you're on the land for a couple of days. And then get back on. You go to another uh, island. You're on there, there for a couple of days. They have those kind of things. But uh, I said I wouldn't mind if I was just not going on a cruise just to go to that Disney resort. Yeah, but I don't know where it's going to be. In 2025. That's what I don't understand. Now, I know they had a building people were in, but it wasn't anything uh, on the picture really did, that would have a ride in it or anything. And I do, know, I do know they have a show, a Disney show there, or two or three shows there. And one of them's like a luau. But 
Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That's gonna be one close to the universe. Yeah, no, but those are my those are my wish list things to do something. But if I do Disney, I want to do it during the Christmas party where you can get all the free cookies. Because if you ask nicely, they'll give you two. If there's really one you're going to like. I was watching Bonet and her fiance there. It was, they were there. I'm thinking 22 is when it was. Anyway, they went for the Christmas party. Now, a lot of people like to go to uh, the Halloween party. My daughter would love to go to the Halloween party. But I don't want all the American candy. And I could bring it back home. But we don't get any trick-or-treaters in our neighborhood. My niece, when she went for her Make-A-Wish um, trip, went to Disney World for Halloween. Yeah? She came she came home, home with a whole carry-on suitcase full of candy. Yeah. Bonet was talking about they gave him a little bag, and then she uh, said, we ended up pouring that bag into our, uh, I don't know what she called it in England. It was like a backpack. She poured it in her backpack, and they kept going. She said, we could have gotten more, but uh, we didn't have anything to put it in. So I know YouTubers that have shown their thing. Careful. And they get, they bring in their own bag to pour into, because you have to use the Disney bag, and then they pour it into their bag, you know, bigger bag, and they keep going until they fill up their two big bags they bring. But they were giving away M&Ms this time, this in 22. A lot of M and M's. It wasn't just the, it was candy that you see in the grocery stores, but it was a lot of the same. Hey, Sharon, cruising scene. I'll be right back. I just got to let the dog out. Um, okay. Yeah. Your computer died. I hope you get it fixed. Yeah. So, anyway, we we were just talking about MomoCon, Disney. No, we were talking about. Did you know that there's a Disney resort in Hawaii? They have shows and things, but they don't have any rides. It's not a, it's not an actual Disney park. It's a hotel resort. They had a thing on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, to win a trip there. So I signed up for it. I, I signed up for all of them. Then after about a month, I go and say, stop getting emails, you know, from the companies they want you to join with. I do it so I can uh, at least maybe try to get a, uh, a trip. I know it makes no sense why they... Do that. I know there's Disney Paris, Disney Hong Kong, Universal Singapore. Uh, there's Disney Japan. And there's another Universal and a couple other places, but I don't know where. I just heard a, heard some of the YouTubers. I don't remember where they were at. But, but if I go to uh, Disney, I want to do several several days and do several of the parks all at once i want to do the christmas 
I want to do the Christmas party. My daughter, like I was going to say, she was she wants the Halloween party because she was born on Halloween, which makes sense, you know, for her. My mother was born on Christmas. My dad was born the day before the Fourth of July. My husband was born the day after Valentine's. So, holidays are big in our house. We used to be, but not much anymore. My husband's passed away, so you know. Valentine's is just another day now for me. My daughter lives in Florida, so Halloween is just another day. And I'm usually in Florida on my mother's birthday, so. And my dad passed away. But growing up, well, on his birthday, we celebrated it like it was the 4th of July, you know. It's okay. It's been a year and a, a little over a year and a half. And I'm getting better at living with my dog. Yeah. So, but I am, you know, thinking about other things I want to do and go. Now, I don't know if y'all heard Darian this morning. He announced it yesterday on his cha on his channel. He wants to go back to, he's going back, he goes every year to Germany, every summer, and takes groups. <laughs> well, his next one, big one that he's trying to plan is 2000 to go see the Passion Play. It's a five-hour Passion Play. You go for three, two and a half hours, and then you break for three hours, and you go back for two and a half hours. So, I kind of want to do that, but I don't. I want to do the Christmas market. And I told him that. He said, well, let's plan it. And I said, I thought you already were planning it to myself. So, I got to get with him and see if he's really going to plan one. But right now, Barry from our group is in Germany with uh, Ari. But Ari's gotten sick. He thinks he's got COVID. And two or three days ago when I was reading his uh, post, he said he only he's only eaten four meals the whole time they've been there. That's so, not good. No, that's not good. So, but someone asked, uh, oh, what's the guy's name? The other guy that was with him. He said, I left him, and I'm out doing things on my own right now, so I don't know if he's going to meet back up with him, or he just means he's out for the day without him, because he, he couldn't leave the hotel. So, yeah. Anyway. But, and who knows, between now and 2030, I could have another guy in my life. And if I've already planned that trip and there's no room, you know, I'm not going to go away. <laughs> yeah. If I want to go without him, I mean, I'm not saying I want to get married again. I just would like to find a, a lady friend, guy friend, friend friend, someone that's not stone drunk, stone drunk or stupid or been in jail or smoked cigarettes. You know? Yep. I want just a friend that say, okay, you want to go to uh, Disney? We'll go to Disney. You want to go to Canada? We'll go to Canada. You want to go to Six Flags? You know, things that someone, I'm hoping someone that's closer to me. And who knows, by 2030, I could be living in Florida where my daughter's at. I don't know. That's a long ways away to plan. But when they put, they put the tickets on sale, in 2028 for the passion play and if you don't get them the first few minutes when they put them on sale online you don't get into the passion play they sell out fast so i can understand why he wants to get it planning now but that's still a long way to plan right what can happen to you now then yeah because right now i'm well i'm trying to get with my friend that i'm talking to 
we're trying to think if we're going to go to Cuba or we're going to go on another cruise. But we, but we're not going to plan two or three years in advance. A year and a half, maybe, but not two or three. That's just I. That's just way out of my thinking. I, I like I did on my little clipboard up to Sarah's. I kind of like it's more like a vision board. This is this is my my travel visions for the next and it's like i think it's about four years <laughs> right it's got this right. Cruise. this cruise coming up in october and then you know i'd like i'd like to, before i do any more cruises i would like to go back to cuba because i've been it's been five years since i've been there and then if there's another cruise and then something else <laughs> yeah i've got vision boards written i've got one Oh, I don't really want some of these. I don't really want to do anymore. You know, you probably can't even read them. Win a trip, win more trips. Okay, you can't win unless you sign up for them. So I sign up every time one comes across my Facebook, and then after a while, I go through and I. If you go to your email, you can write stop, and send it, and you will stop getting the emails from those companies. And then I put. Kevin and, and KJ to come help in the house. That's my cousin. Well, I don't know if that's going to come true or not because they're really busy. He's backed out again or hadn't made up his mind again. And then hasn't I put, huh? <laughs> hasn't committed. No, he hasn't really committed. And then I wanted to do a live with my friend being living with Big B. We were going to do a cooking. Well, he kind of did his own thing, and we're still friends, but now he's on TikTok. I, I do TikTok, but I only do it like when I'm uh, posting on TikTok. I don't know how to do a live on TikTok yet. So then I got Disney trip. And then my other one that I got here, it says paint my room one wall at a time. But I hadn't done that yet either. Yeah, mixing up paint, though, working on it. Yeah, I got, I'm getting there. Where's my other one? All right, here's my other one. Let me get it out. I got another one. These were magnets, and I'm going to take the and clean one of them and use them on my cruise. It's my door decoration. You know, right? Mm -hmm. I take my pen to write on because it's sick. All right, so it's clean house, light, more lives, Momocon, find a good Minecraft server. And win more money. You know, you know, people say you win money. You can win. What I mean by win money is win trips. People to start donating money to me, like all these big YouTubers. I said, why don't only the big YouTubers get a lot of people to give them? So watching one the other day, and this is uh, I don't know if you ever seen. What the hell's H A L E S? He's got all this property, and I was watching him because he was doing dumpster, not dumpster, uh, storage buys, and I loved it. I love those kind of things. Well, it kind of veered off to him getting property and then working on the property down in Florida. Then it got to where Otter Creek was a bad town, and got talking about the bad people and things in town, and you know that didn't work out. And so I don't watch him much anymore, but they're doing something called Toon Town, like YouTube. But it's not going to be any buildings or anything that I know of. He wanted to make a basketball court. So you get one of those that you buy in the store for the kids to play with out in your front yard. You know, and someone gave them $200 to make a bowling alley and the basketball court. And he said, what can I use for bowling pins or for a bowling ball? I'm going, if you're not making a real basketball or bowling ball thing, why do we need to give you $200 to go towards outdoors? So, you know, anyway. Will that stay up there? Yeah, there's my third one. So I need to rewrite my goals, do some of them over, and I re and some of the wording I put on there, I don't even know what it meant. 
go to H I trip. I guess that's Hawaii. H I trip. I figured that must be Hawaii because I want to go to Hawaii. But I'm not a very good speller, so sometimes you're looking at it. What does she mean? I know what I meant. What the heck am I talking about here? Oh. Yeah. Ting, ting. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. my son came up and started talking to me, so I was just like, well, mute. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care, but I showed you all the paint color, but I think if I get, if I can find another yeah, or yellow, another blue darker than this blue, uh, marked down this week at one of the paint stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, Sherwin Williams, you know, one of those little bitty, uh, like three or four ounces. I'll put it in there and make it a little bit darker. If not, I'll stick with this. But I've started my journey to painting. It's just taking me so long, so slow. So if I go live tomorrow, it will be in my bedroom with my one of my mops. And they say you need to clean the wall first. Yep. Well, I'm short, so I said, why not take one of my mops with a little bit of cleaner and water and wash it off that way. I would love to be able to paint, but if we paint here in the townhouse, then we have to paint it back to this basic beige. <laughs> yeah. Or the or you pay a, a fee if they have to paint repaint it. Like, yeah, I don't want to repaint. So it's a basic I, beige. Yeah, I've seen people who will take and put a lot of decorations on the wall just so they can cover up the color. You know? I haven't got too much here. I got these two metal right. things. And I have another sign there. But the, my whole wall going up the stairs and that whole wall over there is mostly covered with the pictures. But I put them up with command hooks, with the command adhesive thing. Yeah. So they don't you damage know, the wall. Back in the 80s and early 90s was the thing to buy posters. And all these teenagers had their whole walls. You didn't even see their wall. It was posters after po Yeah, you one of those. That was their paint. <laughs> not, not, not 80s and 90s, more like the 70s going into the early 80s. But yeah. my, whole, my whole room was covered. It was either in big posters of, st of stuff or I would buy the Tiger Beat magazines and all, the, all these cute guys <laughs> oh i remember the tiger meat magazines when uh oh shoot what was his name uh, oh from uh the partridge family one of those guys was in there and he was a teenager and everybody was going ooh and all, all over him you know I David the Cassidy. yeah i, I think had david cassidy i had sean cassidy I had donnie osmond i had Leif garrett i had uh, trying to think who else. <laughs> yeah, John Cassidy, and, and now anybody want to go to Las Vegas with me? We'll get tickets and go see uh, Donny Osmond. That's what I want to do. I want to do that for my birthday. And the hotel that I, the hotels I was looking up last night, fifty four dollars for uh, Harrods, and he's in Harrods. So. That's not bad. Now she froze. My phone going bing bing for sending me pictures of birds. No, thank you. There are my birds outside, but I don't. Oh, uh, we're fro. All right, we're there. It I went blank for a few minutes. Don't know why. <laughs> Who knows? You know, my phone's going bing bing. It's my one person in our one chat group locally sending pictures of birds. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, and my cat. And those who don't know, this is my other channel partner in crime. Hey, Candy. Candy. Say hi. And she wants <laughs> up in my lap. But she's too heavy. So she's probably really wanting to go out right now. Say hi, my, Michael Ann. Hey, Candy. Oh, what are you grumbling about, Say hi, Kelly? Train. 
whoever's here. There's three people here, so I don't know who's here. So, hi, everybody. All right, go back down, Kenny. So, anyway. But that was my thinking today. So, I'll either do a short me, me cleaning my wall or do a live in the next couple of days, sometime this week. That's my cousin's coming and said she would help me and show me how to paint. And they said, I painted before in my life, but it's been such a long time ago. And I was much younger. But they say it's not hard to paint. No. So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna try. If I don't like it, then I'll say, okay, Donna, you can finish it. When I was there at her house, she had painted three walls and she had two to go. And she painted them while I was sitting there just with a paintbrush on the ladder. No taping or anything. So, but I've been looking at some of the people that, uh, people, houses and things, rooms. And the thing now is to paint your ceiling a different color, not white. I made that mistake once. My, my yeah. kid, um, Bobby Sherman says, cursing scene. That's a little bit before me. <laughs> I did. My kids wanted a bat cave for their room. So I did all the sponge texture painting with different shades of grays and not quite black, but a really dark, dark gray. And that, and I did the ceiling and then I had all these bats you can buy at Halloween time. I had them hanging down from the ceiling and that. Well, when, uh, after my dad went in to continuing care, and I moved into my dad's room. My oldest moved into the room I was in. And my youngest decided he wanted all these different colors. So then I had to repaint the ceiling again. And how many, I forget how many coats of white it took to cover that gray. <laughs> wow. But. Yeah, if I did anything like that, it would be the color I'm painting the wall, so. So, I don't know yet, but I want to do more than just one color. I've seen it where they do a stripe of, of one color and a stripe of another color. I hadn't decided yet. It's probably most likely going to end up being all one color. And I've got ceiling paint that I need to use up, so I... But my cousin said, oh, it would be nice because we the room I stayed at when I went with her a couple of weeks ago was not the best hotel in the world, but she had a cute paint job. So well, my, my oldest, when we repainted his room, he had two different shades of navy. And the this like say this wall and that wall across directly across or one shade. And then the opposite walls going this way were the other right. side. And then we had some square box, like shadow box shelves that were um, open in the back. So I painted the shape of that square in a lighter blue and then put the sh shelf up. It looked pretty cool. But I have pictures, but maybe I'll just show those on a, sometime when I'm live. <laughs> All right, Sharon, right. come up if you want to, unless you're busy. Still waiting on my phone, waiting for Gary to get back from having his pedicure, and then we'll go to Best Buy to get a new computer or get. Oh, new so you didn't go for a pedicure with him? Woo! He's I a need one of those beater. I went for one before I went to Cuba. We went for Manny Petty. My my youngest wants to go. Maybe someday. <laughs> yeah, I need to get my toes repainted before I go off because it's they're growing and they need cutting again, and so you can start to see my nail. So I've got to get that done, and then my fingernails. Like, ever since I did the acrylic last summer, before going to TwitchCon, it messed up my nails. Yeah, I don't do acrylic. 
it messed it up. I don't do the nails, fake nails. It's just that I did the heavy acrylic stuff that stayed on forever. But it messed up my nails and got them brittle. And they still kind of break now. So I don't know if that messed up the growing part or it taking that long for my nails to grow out that bad part. So you got to go look at a computer at Best Buy. No, she was talking about to get her fixed or whether she was going to get a new one. Yeah, I looked online at this place and I can't remember the name of it, but I've gotten my last two computers there. Oh, my youngest I, one. Mm -hmm. My youngest got one one time from Best Buy. His Toshiba one. Yeah. Is yeah, it should have but I kept taking it in and they would fix it. But. Right. That was forever ago. It died, and then he had a. When we moved here, he went to college. He used some of his um, student loan money that came in and bought himself. Uh, yeah, where I look at... hmm. Go ahead. No, he bought himself the notebook, whatever. Yeah. It's newegg.com. N-E-W-E-G-G.com is where I went and looked at my computers. Pretty reasonable price. I bought this one. I bought this one after we moved here, so it's probably about six years old. Right. It can be a little slow at times, but it's like my oldest looked at it as like, oh, you got all this stuff in your memory. You need to do this, 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 this. And I just haven't got all the stuff that that's taking up stupid room in my memory that I don't need removed yet. So, Right. Yeah. Hmm. I was checking to see what the name of that was through my email because I get an email from them about three times a week from New Egg. Uh, but uh, I also got one, if anybody doesn't know, AT&T's had a breach and they're letting everybody know that you're, you may have been compromised. But they won't get much information off my AT&T because the only thing I have on it is my... Uh, Internet. I don't do my phone with them or anything anymore. So I was sat for a little while yesterday going through my computer here. It was like I had so many things bookmarked. <laughs> I'm looking through all my bookmarks because I was trying to clear out some of the stuff and was like, oh, what's this? Is this a, and then a couple of times? Yeah. My antivirus thing come up, and I was like, "Okay, get rid of that bookmark. <laughs> That's not a good yeah. site to go to anymore." <laughs> I still got. I have lot. things bookmarked that I don't I haven't been to in a long time, and I'm going, "What are they?" One of them's a hungry caterpillar pillow crochet pattern. Odd. The only crochet one I kept was the slouchy beanie one. And I don't even know. I didn't even check that one to see if it was still good link or not yeah but i'm gonna i found some yarn that i like the other day in my cleaning up it's a little thinner than i want but i may crochet something with it but i gotta figure out what i want to crochet with it and some of it i may have to double up if i do that do that i get less yarn but i don't know why when i went to these shows if i liked it i bought it Got home and some of it, I knew what it was thin when I bought it, but I never used it. So I, if I buy any more crochet yarn, if it's not thick enough for me to use and light enough to make something out of, I'm not coming home with it. I cleared out a bunch of stuff. I, I don't, I don't even remember who I gave it to. Right. My mother-in-law had given me a, a bag or a box of yarn, and I went through it and. Kept what I won. You know, I went through all the yarn I had and was like, got rid of what I didn't want and 
I don't know who I passed it on to. Well, the last thing I was, I'm making is I've, I'm 99% through with it. Probably got about, when the, when I run out of this yarn, it's going to be done. Uh, I got to find it, finish it. It's from our friend in uh, Texas, uh, my friend Lucas. Him and his mother are planning to come, were planning to come out this September. Or, or this spring, or May. Well, her father got sick, and now he's on hospice. And so, uh, they're not exactly sure what's going to happen. Yeah, so. She said when she when her father gets better or passes on, the, you know, they would start making plans to do something else. Uh, I may see them this in uh, this fall. Now I'm going out to Texas, and I'll be in an hour from him at the airport. Sharon's picking me up for my cruise, so if, if I was coming in, if the airport was at where Sharon actually lived, I had planned on maybe taking the time to for to meet them. But it's not going to be feasible to meet them at the airport for thirty minutes before Sharon gets there, you know, because that that means they have to drive an hour to the airport like Sharon does. So, I'll meet them one day. Yeah. So. Now that anyway. reminds, reminds me, I'm going to send a thing to me and Steve. So, last summer, they decided, because we have, like, we have one bridge going over to Port Huron that was built in 1938. Well, they built another one beside it in 1998. Mm -hmm. So, the traffic going across towards the states, they closed that bridge down last year and did renovations or all that stuff on it. And all the traffic was on the newer bridge. I just seen a thing posted the, the other day. Apparently they're cl closing down the newer bridge and all the traffic will go on the older bridge so that they can do some renovations or whatever on the newer bridge. And it's right. like, it slows down traffic so badly. <laughs> so I had mentioned, I was talking with me and Steve because we're flying into Detroit. And it's like, so one day we're talking, well, maybe it'd be just as easy to go down to Windsor and go across to Detroit. And I'm thinking, if this bridge is going to be closed and slowing traffic down, it might be a good idea. <laughs> I'll have to send that information to them and see what they think. No, the whole thing is just the cord. As long as you have got one to do your business with, you're good. Yeah. Well, I still have my the one I had before this. And it will start up and everything. But every so often, I was getting what they call, what they call the blue screen of death. And then all of a sudden, everything, everything just went blue. <laughs> oh, I get the white screen of death. And this computer is not but a little over a year old. Sometimes. And someone said, well, it does it because you've got too much open and it's trying to pull it all up. And I said, um, could be. Mine are so often when I'm going around on going between one tab or another or trying to get back to Facebook. It'll, the screen kind of goes dark, but I still have the band on the bottom with all the, you know, my Google thing and my photo thing and uh, what the heck is that again? Um, Discord and all that. All that stuff's out on the bottom. Not the, not the whole screen. Whereas well, my old one, the whole screen, like you would see nothing other than blue. <laughs> right. But it still works. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think I downloaded all the pictures off of it. But it also is very slow because I think it's like Windows 7. 
so nothing works nothing would do it unless i had an update i probably wouldn't handle windows 11 update so yeah but i use my phone for my videos when i'm out my lives and to do my shorts but i was watching the bonet when they went on their thing she took two uh two cameras and then she took the one that's the underwater little camera what do you call it gopro she took the gopro and she took she had her phone i says i love youtube i love doing videos but i don't think i want to carry that many that much equipment with me i took my laptop i took my it wasn't my canon camera or was it no i i just got that can camera just before the cruise that the lady that was sending pictures of the birds she gave it to me and i took my phone I don't think oh, I didn't take the tablet with me. I do have a tab. Well, my son's old tablet he gave to me to use, but I didn't most of the stuff on my phone. I did take the Canon camera with me when we were in Bon Air, went on the um, golf cart thing. I took some pictures there. I took pic some pictures off and on with the, the Canon camera. I did an Aruba of the iguana because I zoomed in and you could actually see his scales. <laughs> I was like, "Woo, that's kind of cool. But I don't take a lot. I, I take my computer with me more so that I can upload stuff off my phone and off my SD card to that onto, my, onto the computer. More so off my phone, so I'm not taking up too much space on my phone. Right. So, I wanted to take my other little uh, laptop with me on the cruise. Well, with Candy not having the, uh, knocking it off, and I can't get my camera part to work. So I wouldn't be able to do a live on it if I wanted to. But as far as I know, the rest of it still works. So... I just don't want to keep the one I'm using now is so heavy. I don't want to carry that anything that heavy. So, and yeah. I said, if I can't find out from somebody, if I hit a button, you know, picking it up to turn it off and it won't turn back on or if it's broke. So I may have to take it to Best Buy and ask them because I don't want to pay an arm and a leg to yeah. get it fixed. To their geek squad or whatever it is. Can to the geek squad. I don't. Cause to open up a laptop, it costs more sometimes to repair a laptop than it is to buy a new one. Well, my other water bottle that seals up tight, I had knocked it over on my computer. Nothing leaked out on my computer. But it hit, landed it somewhere over here because I have the keypad for where numbers on the right hand side as well. Yeah. And. I can unlock and lock that. Makes the beep there. But I can't use the numbers. The numbers won't work. So I don't know what's. Sometimes mine work and sometimes mine don't on, on that, that side. So I don't know if it's a, a year and a half old brand new computer. It's messing up. Or it's just that. Uh. You've eaten one too many and dust and things in the computer. You know, you've gotten crumbs and whatever, day-to-day -day yeah. stuff in the computer. That's happening before because I'm going to push on a, a letter and I hear something go crunch underneath. And it's like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll check that out. I'll probably go get me a can of air and see if I can clean it that way. And earlier, I have saying something about chemicals you can use. I don't know what they are. You wet them and it, you know, it helps clean up your computer. But uh, then another thing I saw, and I didn't, I'm not going to try this one. Someone <laughs> poured glue on their computer, and then when the glue dried, they peeled it up, and it was all clean and and all. But me, my luck that that glue would get stuck in there, I won't be able to pull it up. What did somebody say? Silly putt? Was it silly putty? You can take you can take the kids putty, the silly putty, silly putty or whatever. Yeah. 
One thing I've done since I worked in the doctor's office <laughs> every so often, the little alcohol pads I used to before they give you a shot. Uh -huh. I'll, take one, I'll take one of those and just go around in between all the uh, keys <laughs> to get some of the dirt off. Because I, I I just got rid of the alcohol pads my husband had. I should have saved them. Now that you mentioned it, I should have saved them. I'm running uh, out, but I I do have a few, and every so often I'll do that, but. Well, I finally went to the police station. Well, it's actually our fire department headquarters. It used to be police station, but they built the finished and they. Anyway, we got another building for that now. Yeah. Anyway, and I just went in last week and said, "Do y'all take old medicine?" My husband passed away, and she said, "Yes, ma'am. We have a. Uh, they have an incinerator thing. And you put it in, and, and it dissolves it." I just take it. Anything that's expired around here, I put it in the bag and I take it back to my pharmacy and they dispose of it too. Well, I I knew I could do that, but I said Let, I was passing that place anyway, and I just went yeah. in and asked them, and they took it all, and I gave them the alcohol pads, and I should have kept them there. If you think about it, to wipe this off with, but I've got an alcohol bottle, so I can just actually wet a cotton ball and do it that way. Yeah, it's not too not too just just damp, not yeah, wet. just damp. I know. But, so, but I think I need to just get me a can of air to clean out. To hold it upside down, blow the air in it, and clean it out. That might be a good idea for me because every so often my um, fan is making a little bit of noise. Right. Yeah, bad idea if where the vents are to blow some compressed air in there. Yeah. So... I don't think we have any here. My son had some. I, I'm surprised their computers work. Because that stupid little cat has peed on both of their computers. <laughs> on, on Sprayed her laptop last week. And, oh, Lord. And she has sprayed on my son's keyboard, I know, before. And it's like, no, if you get her fixed, she wouldn't do that. But what do I know? <laughs> yeah. No. Why well, I keep my bedroom door closed when I'm not in there because if her cats come up and go in my room, I don't want them spraying on anything in my room. Yeah. Uh, speaking of getting it fixed, I don't know where Candy went. She's hiding somewhere. <laughs> uh, before she comes in heat again, I know she's 11 years old and I should have fixed, we should have fixed her when she was young, but, um, uh, my husband didn't want her fixed, you know, and he's the one that made the money and brought it into the house. So we didn't get her fixed, but I can't have her being in heat around my cousin Stana, whose male dog is not fixed. So. Well, Callie was fixed when we got him, so. That wasn't a worry. A worry. The the male cat cat is fixed, but this one's not because she talked of having it have a litter. And as my son has said, not in this house. She's not. <laughs> and yeah. She's tiny. She's tiny. I, I'm afraid something might go wrong. <laughs> I've right. seen something go wrong with one of my cousin's cats because the cat was too small. And then cat ended up having emergency surgery and we've already done that with this stupid male cat that decided to eat something he shouldn't have but so, so it's like nope yeah nope the cat i had in 2000 and died in 2022 she was uh, was fixed when we found her my husband found her he was out working outside in the yard and i looked out and he's sitting on the ground i said oh lord he fell or something i didn't know and I looked, and he has this calico cat petting it. And I wanted, we had a cat before that that passed away about a year or two before we got her. And uh, I, I said, what happened to all that canned cat food we had when he came in the house? He said, oh, I've been feeding it to this cat that's showing up in the yard every day. And when I fed mm -hmm. her, she started feeding her she was skinny you could see no, her back. 
And so he said, he's been doing it for about a month and I didn't know it, you know. And uh, they, the owners, we think that somebody in the neighborhood moved and just left the cat or couldn't find it. We don't know. But uh, so for a year, James, we started buying cat food again. And uh, he would go out there every day and put out a little bit of cat food for her. And uh, she started wandering closer and closer to the house. Hey, mama, four boys. You know, she wandered closer to the house. And one day, you know, we had told her all this time. I became friends with her, but not like my husband. She was a daddy cat because he's the one that rescued her. But she finally came in the house. She came in, took her nose, and smelled all the way from the kitchen to our bedroom. James was not here. Jumped up on his side of the bed, laid down, and like, um, this is where the man lives. I'm home. Yeah. How he, how she knew that was his side of the bed in the bedroom, I don't have any clue. But they can, they, I guess yep. she smelled the scent. It smells like that. I'm laying down right here. Yeah, Mama Four Boys, you're welcome. Yeah, I think you were one of the recipients. Yep. Yeah, so. Yeah, we went on talking about a little of everything and anything this morning. Anything from MomoCon to uh, Disney and places that you didn't know there was Disney resorts or, or things, you know. Oh. Hey, Mama Four Boys. Yeah, talking about I want to go to MomoCon. I've got constant creator. I can get in there for free, but I just need the uh, when you say funding or see if I can get to the hotel without having to pay a lot of money. Anyone have any pools for any Atlanta hotels that's close to the convention center? I'll take it. You know, or want to donate so I can make content. So, then thinking about what I want to do for my birthday, and I'm probably going to end up going back to Florida somewhere, being close to my daughter, whether I go back to her house or go to Tampa. I'm thinking about Tampa. Now, if I go to back to St. Augustine, my friend Yaya's best life, she said, said they would meet me. Maybe we could do something together like we did last year. So, but uh, I could I could fly in to St. Augustine or I'm a jet, uh, or the closest airport, but Tampa has got an airport, so it wouldn't be far to get to anything I might want to do. I wanted to go to one of the casinos. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. But the casino to spend a night at the hotel there was over $300 a night. That's crazy. Yeah, Amy's getting excited. She's got a cruise coming up in less than a couple of weeks. I was going to say in a couple of weeks, isn't it? Or less? Um, Wednesday? It's, on, it's in April, isn't it? Not May. End of, end of April? Towards the end of April? Yeah. I know she, uh, What, what is it? I'm not signing in. Yeah, my friend from Texas is texting me. Uh, they determined now that his grandpa has uh, onset dementia. Dementia that just comes on kind of quickly from uh, being sick with other problems. So. Check in. She checked in last night for, I think it was it for. And I was just going to look up something here and I forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah we still need to get together uh, and decide what we're going to do now. If Sharon's still here, I, I wouldn't mind doing what you and uh, Gary's going to do for one of the, for that port. If uh, we can no, guarantee no. we're not miss the ship and get back. Oh, they, they go to, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
You want to oh, clap them out? Sorry, mom, for boys. I know that that dementia stinks. My husband had it, and no doubt. When, yeah, when you get when you get sick at the when you get sick from any little thing, a cold, cough, headache, busting your head open, whatever, it makes the dementia go a little uh, off. Hey, Amy. Hello. Hi. Uh oh, we lost your voice. Oh, one minute she said, okay. Yeah, we're going to put her, flip it over her Bluetooth or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if she's coming to work or coming home from work. Three. I don't know her schedule. She could be tra traveling to somewhere t too uh, for a meeting or whatever. You never know. You probably have to work. But we also talked about uh, Marietta. Taste of Marietta, which wasn't that great. It was good, but I didn't buy anything. When you go to a taste thing, you like the, they were all vendor trucks. What do you call them? Those trucks that pull up with their food on it. Food, food trucks. Truck. Yeah. But they were all parked this way. One right after the other. And then there were a way to get into the food trucks to get... Oh, you went purplish pink. Do I, oh, for hair? Yeah. It's no, it's faded. It's purple. I'm going to have to go back to all brown, though. Yeah? Yeah. So, I have till the end of the month. Oh, work wants you all brown? Yeah, to go back to my natural color. Or be an uh, all-natural hair color. Well, you had your you had your stint there yeah. <laughs> for the last what, couple of years. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. But but then, it wasn't easy getting to the food truck, so I didn't I didn't buy anything. Keep right now and then turn left. What you up to today? Quarter mile. Turn left onto US two seventy seven. Directions are telling me to where to go. Um, I am driving to get menus because I don't have enough because my hosts are like, ooh, this menu has a dot on it. No. I'm throwing it away. And now I don't have any menus to last me another month. <laughs> I'm like, thank you for thinking that they're not dirty, clean enough and getting rid of them. But you got rid of way too many. Yeah. How about you put the ones in a pile that you think... That they need to be thrown away and let let the boss check to see whether they need to be disposed of or not. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, oh. So I have 38 menus right now to last me a month. So uh, I that's not enough to see. The whole 38 menus isn't enough for tonight. Jeez. So. I mean, don't they know they can take those Mr. Clean white, white, whatever they're called, racer things? No, it's, like, no, our, our, they're paper. They're like a thick paper, but it, uh, they're they're getting rid of them before they're ready to go in the trash. So, and to get new ones from headquarters would take uh, too long. No, I can't. Well, no, because we get new menus in a month, and so we were told to watch the menus, and my hosts are like, okay, let's throw them all away now. So I'm driving to another store to get some menus. Jeez. Yay. Yay, sounds like fun. <laughs> you give your host a talking to? <laughs> I was like, thank you. I appreciate the thought behind that, but mm, boo. We, we didn't have enough <laughs> and Unless we never I, have a problem we never have a problem like we always have so many menus that i throw away that we didn't use when they when we get new ones no not not this time around unless one of the kids has taken a crayon and marked out the menu you're good <laughs> so or somebody spilled a whole drink or something across yeah. in there <laughs> so. yeah 
which is what you want to do. Right. This is in 10 days. 10 days? Part of, something in my head was thinking the 25th. Oh. Hon uh, how many days is the cruise? Seven. You're going to have a wonderful cruise. Yeah. She sure is. <laughs> I'm so ready for it. You got the drink package on this one, don't you? <laughs> yup. You got the what? You got the drink package on this one. Oh, she's going to have wonderful, wonderful time. Yep. And there's a bunch of bigger YouTubers going to be on this. Yeah. Oh, it's a group cruise? No. No, it's inaugural cruise of the uh, Forense. Yeah. But there's some big names that I know are going on that. Yeah. Oh, it's just not, it's not a, it's just other people that you know are going to be on there. Okay. Yeah. Like, I personally know three people who will be on the cruise. One is a very big channel. Um, one is like a supporter of a lot of channels and she cruises a lot. Um, I think I might personally know somebody else on the cruise but i don't know for sure i think he's on the cruise and then like i know of and i've had conversations with some other people who've been on it um and then there's a lot of other big names on it um like they gotta get like, pictures <laughs> yeah like the um carnival cruise ambassador john healed he'll be yeah. on it so i'll get to meet him i think that he's on his way um, and then like Pero DJ, I've met them. I personally, I know them personally. Um, yeah, they're on it. Song. They're the big channel that I <laughs> know of. Um, and then like Mary Ellen, she's a supporter. She's on the cruise. So I think I'm trying to think. I think Jeffrey I'm Cooler. Gonna... I met him on the Pride. I think it was the Pride or no? Yeah. Um, he'll be on, I think he's on there. I think Pawnee from the Beach Life will be on there, but I'm not 100% sure about him. Is it Rocky and Mark? What yeah, they're on it. I think they're on it. Because I mentioned on their thing that you were going to be on it. <laughs> yeah. Because I, um, I was mentioning on Happy Hands. <laughs> a lot of the more bigger channels will be on the next one because the second one, the, now the second cruise was supposed to be the inaugural. But they added the cruise before, so I moved. I bumped mine up to the new one. Wow. So. I think the one the ones like Mark and Rocky are on for like twelve days or something like that, yeah. or seventeen days. I would love to do a longer cruise when you go to the port and you're there more than eight hours or so, or you can actually see a lot. I want to do one of those eventually. So, the other thing is I want to go to Disney, but I want to go during the Christmas time to do the Mickey Christmas party. But I need someone who's a travel agency to help me plan it. I'm not, I don't know Disney, so. <laughs> I, I, when yeah. I did my Disney cruise in Disney, I went to Disney and I the Disney cruise website, booked my cruise, and then I went to the Disney website and booked my, my stay, so. Are you going into Disney while you're there? Yeah, well, I'll go to Disney and I go in January, end of January, beginning of February. I'll do a four day cruise. And You're breaking up. I think she had a four day cruise, and then she's doing a couple of days in Disney. Yeah. This Probably year? one of the spots there. And, and 25? I think she heard you. What are you doing this in 25 or 26? Oh, you guys are back. <laughs> yeah, you broke That's up. Are you, 
Are you doing this in 25 yeah. or 26? What? At 2025. So you'll you'll just miss the Disney Christmas party. Yeah. Where are you gonna stay? Uh I'm staying at She broke up. She gets into the lower spots when she's traveling. Yeah, I know. Did you hear sure. where, did you I don't hear remember where? where she said she's staying. I don't or I don't know if she, I don't know if she said that in conversation yet. Okay. She's been a busy lady. I haven't we haven't chatted a lot lately like we used to. So. Yeah, we um, haven't had any. We need to talk about our cruise again and to get where we're gonna go. Cause like uh, like I said, cruising scene. I I would do the one y'all are going on when y'all book yours. Book mine to go on that excursion. But I wouldn't, I, you know, my cousin, when they went, they just stayed around. They did one excursion, and the rest of the times when they got off, they did the town that was closed. They just took a yeah. taxi into the town and went shopping around the town. So I've done, other than I only did the one excursion because the bunch rented the golf carts, and I was invited to go on that one. Right. But otherwise, I just, I would just wander the port. All right. So, yeah. Hey, I can't even remember what port she's going out of. I don't know, but I would love to do a Disney cruise and do Disney. But, uh, I mean, I want to go for more than just going to Disney. I want to do some of the extra things they have. Like, if you go now, they started the Star Wars stuff. And they also got Epcot has the flower show going on right now. So I know it'd be cheaper and easier to go when it's uh really what they call the off season, which is January, February. And then uh uh early May, right after all the spring breakers, middle May for a couple of weeks. But after the after the after the uh, Star Wars stuff, but I want to go when there's something actually extra going on. Sometimes you have to pay that little extra to go to it, but it's well worth it, according to some of the YouTubers. And that okay. Bonet I've been watching, I learned a lot from her videos. Just her and her her husband was fiance at the time. Now her husband. Then I have watching some of those that do it every single day. So her vlogs were a little more helpful information. I don't and I want I want to go during the uh, one of the days and just spend all day at Disney Springs. I want to take one or two days. And go to some of the resorts, you know, some of the hotels. So you, you can go to them for free. And there's more than just the hotel there. They've got lots you can look at. They've got shopping. They've got restaurants. And those kind of things are free to walk into. So when I do go, I want to plan it where I am gone more than just a couple of days. Because there's lots of three things you can, free things. Like if you go to Disney Springs, I did not know this. And I she said in her video last night that I was watching from 2022 that they have a Cirque du Soleil show, and I had not seen any of the daytime Disney's people who do who go to Disney Springs talk about the daytime show. The, no, I, I don't either. I know a couple, couple channels that go to. We've gone to Disney, Disney and gone to Disney Springs, and I don't think they've ever mentioned it. 
Yeah, I never knew there was a Circle Soleil show there. And uh, also, I know Disney Springs has several restaurants that you can book in advance through Disney, you know, on your Disney dining plan. And they went to one. And on some of her videos, one day they ate food, and an hour later they got food again because that's the way the to get to what she wanted to try was available. And then they ate one day, and they ate little slider, or they ate a slider a piece and some French fries they shared. But then they had a big dinner reservation for one of the big places. So, but if you buy the uh, dinner plan, you know, you can buy it where you can get, like, two, a meal, and then a small snack kind of thing. So, and uh, if I go, I want to go to the, I think it's Hootenanny show. I can't, I think that's the name of it. I may be pronouncing it wrong. But it's a Western kind of show. I was watching one channel. I can't remember what it was. When they went to Epcot and they were trying to do all the food, country food things yeah. in one day. Yeah. I was like, that's a little much. <laughs> yeah. They went to one place and they were getting something to share. And... Uh, they gave one of those Mickey Mouse uh, ice creams on a stick. Mm -hmm. It was broke. And uh, the lady, the the Disney employee said, anybody want this? Well, they said, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, that's a $7 ice cream. I think they're around 7 or $8 for those ice creams. Well, one of the channels I follow, they do Disney cruises a lot. They order, they order those almost every night. <laughs> They'll get room service back in their cabin in the early or mid evening. And Do they, they come with the cruise? I wonder. The the room service does, I believe. Yeah. They, every night they get. There's a lot of stuff included on the Disney cruises, but they they get one thing is called all, all hands on deck, which is like a cheese and fruit platter. Some nights they're ordering like chicken fingers or pizza or fries or the, the I forget what they call them, the Mickey ice cream things. Yeah. Or they'll order a bottle of wine or whatever, or a couple glasses of wine or a little coffee or some ice water. <laughs> yeah. But I would love to do a Disney cruise if... I'd, I'd like to do it with somebody to sh split the cost, you know, the uh, the mm -hmm. cruise. But like Amy, she doesn't care. She saves her money up and she goes by herself and pays what she has to pay. Which I can, I may get brave enough to do that one day and just be me, myself, and I. Yeah. Well, she, for the most part, she's a solo cruiser. Yeah. She had, like what well, she's done. The one group cruise she went with it with her girlfriend and her girlfriend's daughter before that at one point and then she's got this group cruise coming up i think it she, she told me a friend of hers is going with one of her girlfriends is going with her on in july on her birthday cruise on the jubilee yeah <laughs> um then most of these other ones she's got booked her. Venetia, she went alone. Frenzy, she's going alone. Jubilee, she's got a friend going. Uh, the Breeze is a group cruise. And Disney, she's going alone, as far as I know. Right. Which is cool. Like. Yeah. But, like I said, I want to do it when they're having something there. Like, uh. May the force be with you. Uh, they have a Halloween one where you can get all this candy. They have the Christmas one where you can get all the free cookies. And I'm watching some of the YouTubers that go to the Hall Mickey's Halloween party. And uh, they get tons and tons of candy. The Mickey Christmas party. Some of them would say, can I have two cookies? And they'd give them two cookies. And then they don't realize, recognize you sometimes. And. One of them, they went back around again. 
where they were giving out all the free cookies at, and they got another one. You also get free hot chocolate. One of the places they got, I think, was a, a cider. I don't drink cider, so I wouldn't get the apple cider. But most of it was free hot chocolate. But I wouldn't want four or five, six cups of hot chocolate in one night. A couple, three, but not. Well, I think you end up with five or six cookies or more. So it's just you got to choose when you want to go and how you want to go. I, I've dined alone, but I have yet to like go on a vacation alone. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I have. Now I flew flew alone to go to my daughter's house in Florida. They picked me up, but I have not flown. And I did go on my first one last year to TwitchCon, but I had roommates when I got there, so that split the cost. And they were really nice to me, and I got to meet the ukuleles. But the ukuleles are having a little bit of trouble right now. They're, uh, I think they're still in the UK somewhere. And they were at a friend's house letting them stay there. Well, their husband is, uh, Liam, who's an actor, I shouldn't be saying this, but she put it on her post so I can repeat it. He got drunk. And it scared the people they were living, staying with. And they told him that nicely they had to leave. So they packed up and left and went to a hotel. And I know, I don't know how much money they make. They're not really making a lot off Twitch right now because they're not doing anything on Twitch. They're partners with Twitch. But they don't, they used to come on probably four out of five days a week and do their ukuleles. They don't do that anymore. They don't even come on and show the town they're in, the friends they're with Harley anymore. So. And she said it was hard. They're having a hard time right now. But she said, well, they'll make it. And then she posted that they had another friend that they knew. Let them come to their house to save some money. So, but he started out on these trips to promote the movie movie. He's in a Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. So, they were doing that promotional thing. And so, I don't know if he's still having to do promotions for it because... That series is almost over with for the year. And I don't know if it's going to be more after that or not. So I don't know how long, how many they make. So it's hard, I guess, for anybody, <laughs> whether mm -hmm. you're an actor or actress or a plain person, to go spend months and months on the road. I'm sure some of those places probably gave him a hotel night stay or something but got paid for the publicity i don't know but but it was nice meeting him on TwitchCon, and that was the first time i'd actually went out without meeting a family member on an airplane when i flew with my husband, when we did fly, we was going somewhere either to do with the company work or I flew out there to meet him for a company, you know, job one time to Canada. And then we flew to Panama City a couple of times. And from then on, we drove. It was just a lot easier because the airport was getting busier and busier and you couldn't get on the flights. So I went out to my cousin's wedding, who's divorced that person and remarried and got children with somebody else. Flew out to their wedding, but I was meeting family. So, Twitch was my first real thing by myself, meeting nobody that I didn't know, but, th but through the YouTube videos. <laughs> You're on mute. I got somebody here talking to me. So I <laughs> hey, again. <laughs> Uh, did you go get the cat food? Girlfriend did. Girlfriend did yesterday. Oh, okay. She's at work. She's at work right now. She's going over to meet her. Yeah. She he got his haircut a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And she's always teasing him because 
he has his hair cut and he can style it nice now and he keeps putting the hat on. So he just went upstairs or he went and fixed his hair and went upstairs and get a quick shave. <laughs> it wasn't a very good one. I think that razor down <laughs> the electric razor, you hear it? That Papa's razor? No, that's mine. Oh, that, that's the new one I bought. Yeah, yeah, it, it ain't it, supposed to sound like that. That actually. razor didn't sound that good. <laughs> that's a newer one he bought. He had been using my dad's electric razor. <laughs> and my dad's yeah, been gone. Yeah. For... My husband had one, and it's in this drawer in here. I didn't get rid of that. It's in the drawer in there. My dad passed away almost 14 years ago. <laughs> and this razor's still running, as far as I know. Well, I decided to keep it in case I wanted to use it because I, it's not just for men's faces. You can shave anything if you do it right. It's what I was told, so I didn't get rid of it. I said, one day I might plug it up and try to use it. I still, my mom had a little electric one for doing her legs and, and stuff, and it's like, I still have that one. Every so often, it's like, oh, I don't want to get in the shower and it's to do the <laughs> quick little, yeah, that, 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 that guy gets it. <laughs> Yeah. And she, my God, she's been gone for, where are we, 2024? She's been gone for almost 18 years. Yeah. Wow. So. <laughs> but I thought one day if I, before I go on my next couple of trips, because uh, my hair is so blonde now that I don't hardly have any. Uh, the older you get, the less hair you grow on your legs. But yep. I said, I'll, I'll use it. And uh, see, if, see if I like it before I go. I'm going to try it one day. Yeah, that's the well, one advantage to getting older. It's like, oh, there's how about a half a dozen hairs down there. <laughs> yeah. And I don't get in, I don't get hair in my underarms. I get one or two. And when I get that one or two, I just reach up and pluck. Ow. <laughs> I heard my mother-in-law talked about that. Like, oh, I think I have my three hairs there. <laughs> yeah, I was getting on my chin somewhere up in here around my face. No, it's right here. I haven't had it in a while, but I was. My grandmother got a mole, and on that mole, she always grew a hair, and she'd just reach up and pluck. <laughs> my ex yeah. would have one that grew out of his forehead. <laughs> Who did? My ex. Oh. <laughs> right on the right forehead. No mole or anything. Just, it just grew right up. <laughs> just like, grab a hold of it and yank it. <laughs> yeah. Random hair. <laughs> but no, I, I was getting it on my chin, but I don't feel it there now. So I, I guess it stopped growing. I pulled it out enough that it's not growing. I used to have some here that was darker, but it doesn't seem to be that dark anymore. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good advantage about getting older. You have less and less hairs to worry yeah. about. I don't really feel anything. That... <laughs> well, yeah. It does with hormones and stuff, too. So I knock on wood. I skipped over the hot flashes, per se. <laughs> I've had some warm times, but not, nothing that's really a hot flash that w women talk about getting drenched. Waking up soaking wet, and I'm like, No, nah, not really. <laughs> I got the hot flashes, but I didn't get the soaking drink ones. You know, I just got enough to know that boy, is it hot, you know, but I didn't get really wet. Like, I've had friends who were posted about, uh, you would think they went to bed and they got so hot. <laughs> yeah, I had to get up and change the sheets. <laughs> yeah, never. I'm not talking about you changing your sheets. I'm talking about women with menopause. Uh, like, thank God I didn't get that. <laughs> right. So. I had the leg, leg thing up for so long, and then my, it's uncomfortable. Put them back down. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. don't, don't watch it if you headphones or your earbuds. Well, we're down to two people watching. I don't know who the two people are. I wish I would show you behind the scenes 
who the two people were, you know? Yeah, it, it was nice to know who's lurking because there's been nights I've had maybe four or five people chatting, but it says I have 14 or 15 people <laughs> watching. And I'm like, hmm, just be nice to know who's lurking out there. Yeah, that would be nice. So. Oh, it's not going that way. No, and I noticed something about Facebook. I don't know if you have to do this or it does it on its own. Are you watching somebody's video that they put out? And now it's cut into sections. Do they? Do you do that? Or do they do that? Like from like zero to, to one. Dollar Tree? Uh -huh. Dollar Tree? Sure. Whatever one it is. The dollar store up that way? Dollar B. Yeah. It's in the middle sec section where there's a wider space and they have the smaller displays. Is it by the brick? Hmm? Is it by the brick? The, the, yeah, the dollar store oh. by the brick there. But in the middle section of the store, um, they have like bigger, big wide aisle and then there's like some small things in the middle. It's in the back section on the left-hand side. I'm going to forget all of that, but thank you. Well, <laughs> it, might, it might refresh your brain when you walk in there. Yeah. Apparently going to the Dollar Tree after she's done work. Whatever. Is that the one that test. works at the? That's the one that works at the uh, distillery or whatever you called it. A dispensary. Yeah. Dispensary. Yeah. Yeah. He slept in today. He had stuff he wanted to do, but he seen in the group chat that they were short a driver and short a bud tender today. And he's like, nope. <laughs> I like nope. the fact that they don't call. Like, yeah. You never hear the phone, but they just post it in the their group chat. And it's like, we're short this or we're short that. Can anybody? Yeah, because when they call you, you like you feel like you have to go in. You know, it's just like, yeah. can you come in? Well, it's my day. But you're not doing anything. You answer the phone. <laughs> He does sometimes. It's not like he doesn't do yeah. it. But he just, yeah. Like, he, he worked. He was off Saturday. He worked yesterday. He's off today. And then I don't know, but sometimes he might have like four or five days in a row. Yeah. Before he's on the day off. So it's like he's got days he wants to get things done. Like maybe he wants to get his laundry done or he wants to get stuff done downstairs or he's been doing some photo editing down on on uh it almost looks like an anime character he's 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 been working on writing a, a story a book type thing it may never get published but he's developed a character to it and he he drew it out through um i don't know some kind of program so he's been using and he decided the the way I'm not sure what kind of character it was, but it had it had purple face paint on it in different designs at one point in time. And he decided he doesn't like that, so that's what he's been doing, going through and editing that part out and change, changing the facial structure and the shadowing and all that on it. So that's what he was. That's what I was doing for an hour. He showed me the picture before and after picture, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is kind of neat. He doesn't. He doesn't always sit down there and game. <laughs> Does he play not... Minecraft? Um, he hasn't played. I don't know if he still does or not. He used to, like when I had the. I don't. I don't remember watching him playing it here. He might, but when we were in the house, he would quite often sit out in the living room and play. Minecraft. Right. Or you played another one that was dinosaurs called Ark. It was an interesting one. Uh-huh. But I'd sit and watch them play. <laughs> and it's like I never really got into the gaming, so Yeah. But way, way back in time on Facebook I, I played Farmville. <laughs> I know that'll come up in my uh, 
my memories i'll be looking oh what you know what is, oh you, you got this and this and this in farm bill you did this in farm bill i was like oh geez that was how many years ago no 13 14 years ago right or i was playing another one called tonga t-a-o-n-g-a i've done that off and on but some reason sometimes it'll take me back into my original game so other times it wants me to start a new game and i said i'm not starting a new game and i've already got this many this much coins and this much jewels and all this so i very rarely go into it yeah i've tried some of the other games and i'm just not good at them uh i see the combat games you know where you Fortnite and some of those other kind of things i just never really got into those what was on his xbox or his xbox one he had sean white snowboarding i played that once or twice because i really didn't have to do anything it's just trying to guide him down the hill and <laughs> Right. I, I that. And if you had that snowboarding game and I, I watched him play it. I also, well, I also have a 3DS. But even the games on that, um, there's a re refurbished 3DS and even putting a, um, a memory or an SD card in it, it, it's not saving stuff. So it's basically going in and playing something new all the time. And I had like Nintendogs and Brain Age and I forget. Some other. I had one and that's um, a Lord of the Ring one called Aragorn's, Aragorn's Quest. But it's like you do something and then you get to a point and you, you can't stop because you got to start all over the next time. And it's just. I still have it. All right. I was playing Animal Crossing. I had that on my 3D Switch. But after about a month of playing it, it got old. So I quit playing that. But if they got come out with it on the computer, I'd probably do more of it because I could video it and people could watch me play or do it live and they can watch me play. But there's nothing coming out for it that they know of. There's a hint on uh, the Lego box. And it's uh, a birthday party and they're outside. Well, on Animal Crossing, all the birthday parties were done at the person's house inside, not outside. So there may be a new Animal Crossing coming or there may be added a new feature. But they haven't added anything in four years. I bought it when COVID started. And I played it for several months, but it just got old after a while. So I think they both have a Switch. I know Trevor does. She bought him uh, the oh. Oculus VR thing. He played it like for a little while after he got it that year for Christmas, and he hardly uses it. All right. And I know she pay paid a lot of money for that. Well, my nephew's got the Oculus, and he uses it every day. I use, he showed me how to do it once, and it, I don't know. I don't even remember what game it was, but there was just like, you had, it was like there was, it was a beat thing, and you had to, it showed you the direction you had to hit the thing away in, and it was up, down, or out, whatever. It was right. kind of cool, but it's like, yeah, right. I think it's still sitting up here underneath the table here that's got another layer. It's used to usually charge it up here, but I don't know. Yeah. So a lot of wasted money <laughs> for us sitting there. Yeah. While I was live, my friend, What You Doing Willis, that I met from What the Hell, he was at the Toontown place making putt-putt but unless you're gonna do an actual real putt-putt place i'm not gonna go down there just to meet them to play on a homemade little thing uh -uh.
No, but unless they turn it into an actual place for people to go that's real and not just uh, something you created for, to make a YouTube content. Uh -uh. Like he made a putt-putt green in his house. And he had the outdoor uh, the outdoor green carpet stuff. And he put that down and he made another hole. But he didn't keep it. He was just doing it to make content. Because hmm. it really wasn't working. So unless you're going to get semi-professional with it. I'm not driving all the way to Otter Creek, Florida. To play on a basketball court or a golf course that's not really anything but what I could do in my front yard. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. No. Now, what he really wanted and it may come to you know, it may come to how do you say it one day it may come up where it really happens. He wanted a Toontown where people can go in their campers or rent a place that they have and you can go down there for YouTube meetings, you know, say, I want to go down there and I want to have a meet and greet. And they'll have a facility for it. Well, he doesn't have the money to do that. And neither does What the Hells anymore because What the Hells is asking. Someone started to go fund me for the What the Hells to pay for their court problems that he's having to pay. Which... You want to give money to them? People want to give them? Go right ahead. When the little person who really needs the money is not getting it. And I, I, I don't know if anyone from that YouTube channel is watching. But some of it, I think it's the person's involved fault. You know. Yeah. Because uh, even if you have a warrant out or whatever you call it where you can't be 500 feet from someone and you're restraining driving order. huh restraining order yeah one of the people that he's taking to court they got a restraining order they can't be near them well when you're driving down the road and the guys in the road get out of the road you're too close by me if you just kept driving you wouldn't have you know so i don't watch them as much as i used to they're okay but i'm not gonna go and go on a Fake Toontown. There was a church for sale down there. And the church had a house. That would have made a wonderful Toontown place. In Otter Creek. It was uh, right outside of Otter Creek. I can't think of the name of the little town that it was in. But. It looked like. It, if you take the church. Take the sanctuary. Make it into you know, Divide it up. Make it into rooms. Take the classrooms that were there, make them into hotel, you know, bed and breakfast little rooms or hotel rooms. You, uh, or you could have used the sanctuary for your uh, for the meeting because it was big, you know. Something like that would work. Yep. But anyway, it, I've been on almost three hours. But yep. it's been a fun three hours. Doesn't seem like it. It's been a, well, yeah, it seems like fun. It was fun. It just it doesn't seem like three hours, almost three hours has passed. Yeah. Now, sometimes when we get to talking on some other people's channels, we're on their three hours on their channel, and then we're on their three more hours after the show. Hey, come on. I don't go more than a couple hours. <laughs> Well, two hours and then three or four hours after the show. Three, four, five hours later. <laughs> yeah. I'm still out, Carol. What happened? You left. Did you have some problems or did you have to go do something? Because I haven't done a thing, but I may, I need to put up another live. Uh, another, well, I've got to let this one go first. And so, I need another video to put on tonight after this one. If I keep talking, it'll be night before I put my next video up. Hey, Jeremy and Cheryl. Hey. Everybody's coming in that I'm getting ready to. <laughs> or her phone died. Her phone died. And you had to, okay. Seen Jeremy and Cheryl this morning. 
Yeah. But it's been a good afternoon. We've been talking about MomoCon, Disney. I, I'm, hoping that, I'm hoping when we go to Galveston, maybe we can meet up with Jeremy and Cheryl if they're around. Oh, that would be nice. I know V sent them an email. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm the next recipient and I'm going in and uh, cruising scene and her husband, Sher Sharon, they're picking me up at the airport. And uh, we're staying at a hotel, but once they get me into the hotel, once we get to the hotel, after they pick me up, we're going to be driving. I don't know how many hours she said to the actual place, a couple hours. Maybe longer. I don't remember how I mean, she said. But once we get checked in the hotel, we've got all day to go to the house that the rest of them are going to be at and have fun. We're going to be making, uh, Sharon said we could stop at, at Bug, what's it called? Bug, Bucky's. I want to say Buzzfeed. So sorry, the Bucky's. <laughs> the Bucky's are friend. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop at Bucky's. And well, uh, they they need to stop and get the alcohol that they're going to carry. She said, unless they already buy it in their home, their their town. But uh, I want to get some. And I don't drink a lot, but I do have a little bit of uh, wine in with the. I like the tangerine mango, or orange juice. Orange juice is not my favorite, but I'll do it if that's all they got. Or pineapple juice, mix it in with the orange juice. And then I put Sprite or ginger ale or 7-Up. And so she said, well, I said, I just want to buy a little bottle. She said, you might as well buy the big bottle. Because if you don't drink it all, somebody else will. I said, okay. So, I would say if you find the, like, the tangerine mango juice in the little cartons. Is that on the ship? I don't know. what the, well, You can get orange juice on the ship, like a glass of orange juice kind of thing, but I was saying, if you find something like in the, the little drink boxes of the tangerine mango or something like that, or what are the, I the haven't seen any around here, but there may be something out in another store. No. Yeah. I doesn't hurt to look because I don't want to carry this big old thing, you know, gallon of juice, what I probably won't use, but yeah. not even half of it. So. Uh, but Amy, who was here, she said just get the or use the orange juice, and if you won't use the lemonade and orange juice together, and I said that wouldn't be bad. So that's all I I really drank. Like we had bottled Amy ordered bottled water for the room when we went before, right. but quite often. Without wandering around, I just grab one of the cups and fill it up with lemonade or iced tea. Or water. Yeah. Because they have the, the things right there. You can just go up and fill it up. There we go. Oh, I, may, I may order the water, but I don't want to order the... Uh, I want to order the regular 16-ounce or 20-ounce bottles of water. I don't want the one that our friend Kenny had that was three times that size. <laughs> the things that this big? <laughs> Do they have refrigerators in your room? They call them a cooler. But it well, is see, a, will, yeah, it's like it, a mini fridge. Yeah, mini fridge. I just want to be able to keep my water cold. Put it in there and keep it cold. I don't know if the ones that Kenny bought that were huge would fit in your refrigerator. Uh, they might fit in the door if you lay them down or take the shelf out or whatever. They might. Yeah. I really, I didn't, I didn't do really close video or pictures in the cabin, which I. Probably should have, maybe this time, because we have a balcony cabin this time. Well, see, I drink water. That's about all I drink now is water. But if I'm uh, not in my room uh, and I've got my water bottle, I bought a water bottle, but I don't really like it because it don't fit in my cup holder in the car. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I'm going to find something later that I would like better to take with me. You know, if I'm around the ship, from what I understand, there's water filling stations all over the place. Now, around the outside of the Lido Marketplace, there's 
usually things that have the cups and there's there's water and um lemonade hey danny around breakfast time in the legal marketplace there will be juice ones right there's coffee i was down to two people now i'm back up to five Yep, when you think about ending, then it's all the people. People. <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah. Hey, any, Danny. Of those, any of those people want to come up, you're welcome to come up. And I know some do not like to show their face, but uh, eventually those people that don't like to show their face, they'll show it one day. People, yep. Oh, well. <laughs> so, like I say, when I'm doing my videos, if you don't like the way my house looks in the background, you see, you're in the wrong channel. Just go away. You know, if you don't like it, go away. So, but I may do a short tonight, me washing the wall, because I think I can get that done, and maybe tomorrow, paint. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of hesitant, you know? <laughs> Someone said, what can you mess up? N nothing, really. Even if I got to paint on the baseboards i'm not caring because mm, my cousin donna can help me because i want to replace those we can get that and replace them later i'm glad you like watching my channel i'm glad you're still here so and i i didn't know how to do the uh giveaway you know channel thing and uh, then I looked it up and said you had to be online to do it. Oh, you want to come back up? And let me invite again. I sent it to you, Carol, earlier. But I'll paste it again. I was going to get off, but I really don't have anything to do. I need to wash the walls. And I didn't eat lunch until 1 o'clock. And so, I need to cook dinner, but I, I'm in no hurry to do that. But also, all the videos I've missed from being online, like, uh, I'm sure, are the crazy middles and or crazy pieces. One of those channels has put out a video. And then I've been watching, it's B-R-O-G-A-N. Bonet, I think how she's pronouncing her name. I want to watch them in Paris. They're going to Disney land in paris i haven't looked at crazy middles or crazy pieces yet but i um the guy that does the crazy middles camera work in that bishop yeah i've been watching his bishop bishop tunnel vision right he, he did a video today from his per perspective of his, getting his dreadlocks all cut off Oh, yeah, Bishop hat. Okay, I didn't see any of that yet. He did one like on his channel from the, getting the, the, having them cut off and then getting his um, suit and that and clothes to wear to the, um, the awards thing. Yeah, that was this weekend. So nice suit. Like he had a black, he got new sneakers, black and white sneakers, and he had black pants and he had a Black, a white jacket that had black um, lapels and then had a black shirt and then a black tie that had a white flower pattern on it. It looks sharp. <laughs> I can't that. think of the name of the award, but... Uh, Cheer I choices. Look, the what? Cheer, Cheer choice. choice. Yeah. Well, you know, anybody can nominate anybody for Cheer Choice. You can nominate yep. yourself. Yep. And I said, I bet you they nominate themselves. They don't tell you that. But I'm kind of 99% sure in my head that one of those, their kids or the mom, the dad, somebody nominates them. And so next year, uh, the nominations start, um, you've got until October. So the nominations will start over again sometime this summer. I want to say it was August maybe. Because you had about a, a little over a month to vote for people, but um, if they can, if they can, uh, if some of these people can nominate themselves, I'm gonna nominate me. 
Why not? Trouble. For what the Miss America pageant? Huh? For what the Miss America pageant? <laughs> no, for it's called Cheer Choice Awards. It, they give it. awards to YouTubers for different things, like uh, oh. uh, Kate. What's her name to travel? Kate and Nate, Nate and Kate, or, or anyway, they've well, been nominated. <laughs> they've been nominated before for their travel channel for showing people travel. Wow. Uh, the uh, crazy pieces that we're talking about, they're nominated for, I'm not sure what, for helping others. They don't always show it, but uh, for, their, for their adoption. Wow. Uh, there's a category for helping other people. Uh, there's uh, one for sports. Who but, picks them? Well, all the RVers pick them. There's one for RV people, van lifers. But no, you nominate, like you want to nominate me, you got to cure choice awards and put my name down. And then people can start voting on it. Nomination criteria, positive impact, engagement, consistency, ethical behavior, originality, willingness to participate. Category. That leads you out. <laughs> category, <laughs> arts, dance, education, entertainment, Environment and nature, family and lifestyle, fitness, health and wellness, inclusion, music, overall excellence, public service, and sports. I know Crazy Middles was a family one because um, Bishop showed some B roll of the award thing. Right. So I said, you know, if a little channel can, a big channel can get nominations, so can little channels. Mm hmm. See, I love cook. I love showing you how. I love showing the way I things I cook. All right, right now I've been on so long. I think I'll just take myself back to the kitchen because my computer soon got back up because it's about dead. It's done back up now. I can go back to the kitchen and show you how I'm going to cook with chicken. So I just, I think yeah. I'm going to do that so y'all can see it. I've had it marinated for the past. Uh, we've been on three hours and seven minutes, so it's been marinating. Oh close wow! To yeah. So I, I, I'm not really hungry yet, but I can. Did you eat anything yet today? Did I eat eggs? Anything today. You didn't eat breakfast or lunch, you said. Yeah, I ate my egg. I cooked my eggs and ate it. You got, you weren't oh, there? Okay. No, I, I don't think so. I think I left for some reason. Well, There's, that's good because you said you didn't eat anything yet. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I yeah I cooked uh I took two eggs and one piece of toast and the, the mm -hmm. bread that I'm using uh it was the end piece and it was so thick so it didn't get the cut heel. right yeah the heel that was so thick. did you pull did you pinch a piece out of the heel they always said the old timers pinch a little piece out of the heel for luck I know I've never uh -huh. heard that one. I always heard you had to pinch a piece out of that little hill. It looked like a little mouse ate a little hole out of grandma. So you pinch a piece out of that hill, girl. I've never heard of that one, but I can take oh, that. Oh, kind of superstition. Talking. We can watch me uh, take my chicken out and put it on the marinade with my uh, marinade. We can watch me cook it with my sweet potatoes. I buy in the... Uh, they're, I don't know if they're French fries. Anyway, it's little squares of sweet potatoes in the frozen section. And uh, I doesn't take long to cook those. So I, I usually put it in the same pan as I'm cooking my meat in yep. off to uh, the side. And they cook. So I've been on long enough to get to go cook. So I think I'm going to do that. But I'm going to take two minutes I'm, I'm going to take one minute and run to the ladies' room, and then we're going to go to the kitchen. So, y'all keep them entertained. <laughs> who, got the long, who got the long chain like the gum show? <laughs> well, talk about chocolata. Oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> Chocolate. You're funny. She's real funny. Yeah. I'm real funny, but anyway, I got to let Candy out, too, and then we're going to go to the kitchen and cook my chicken. Yeah, sure. Might as well. I can reheat it. Come on, Candy. What is her picture of? Candy. Candy. 
candy laying on the floor. Oh, but my eyes couldn't figure that out. Looks like a dog bed by her butt, and I don't know what's beside her or near the front of her. I still can't figure it out. I mean, how do you use this? This is a bunny rabbit or something. I don't get it. Her feet. I don't see it. I'm slow. I still am slow. I got Parkinson's, and my, my brain sometimes isn't up here. <laughs> I laugh at myself. I have humor. <laughs> You have better laugh than cry sometimes. Well, yep. Okay. I'm gonna talk about these wards now. I'm scanning them to see <laughs> who's in it. Talk about talk the what, honey? The cheer choice war. Award talking about. Oh yeah, choice award. We're just kind of looking through, going. I want to see a couple that I know. Well, they have them on on here. That I guess they give them away on here. They award them on here. Uh, I'm it new at all this. I'm learning to use too. Takes place in Vegas. But oh wow. Here. What thing, happens right? in Vegas stays in Vegas. Remember that on TV? Right. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, that's what they tried to say on uh, <laughs> when, we were, when we go on these cruises. Like, what happens on the cruise stays on the cruise. Yeah, um, that's just a cruise of a bunch of YouTubers with their camera <laughs> or Phones out all the time. It, it ain't gonna stay on there because it's gonna be all over. Oh YouTube. yeah, yeah, you are. It ain't gonna stay there because once somebody takes a picture, it's everywhere. But it'll be hit you. It'll beat you home. That picture of what happens on there. It'll beat you home. Yeah, I remember that saying. What stays in what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Not anymore. Like she said, you got like they were on the ship and they take pictures. It'll beat you home. What happens there? <laughs> Yeah. Your mom would be like, ah, woo, you did, ah, you did what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do you know? I saw pictures while you were still out there on that ship. <laughs> I saw a picture yeah. of you doing such and such. I always heard him say, you think you erased it, but once you put something up there, it's there forever. It ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. That stuck in my head, buddy. Mm -mm, I tell my kids, don't put nothing up there because you you think you erase it, but uh, it's there forever. I watch Judge Judy. I learned from her, buddy. <laughs> Once it's out in the world wide web, it's out there. You can't take it down. That's Not right. Forever. Your great, 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 great grandchildren are going to see it and say, Ooh, Eventually. I like her. Granny, you did what? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Now, I decided I'm going to do something. I'm going to cook, but I'm going to take. Here we go. Cooking with Roxy. Here we go. We're going to cook with, cooking with Roxy, and we're cooking chicken tonight, y'all. Here we go. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to take my, uh, what do you call it? My, my squash. Chicken out the room. I'm going to take my squash. Oh, and, oh squash. Uh, my, some carrots. I'm gonna put them on the cook platter, and now I'm gonna puree it all. Ooh, we are having company supper tonight. Well, come on, how long did it take y'all to get here? Now I'm talking about you reading high on the hog tonight, ain't we? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna make this because I, I was gonna make it tomorrow because I can reheat this one. Well, I ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to move y'all over. But Candy's still outside, so she starts barking. I'll have to go get her. Okay. It won't be long because she missed you. <laughs> I hope she better not bark. Well, she, she can't I, be long for you long. She got separation anxiety. <laughs> yeah, you heard her the other day when I was speaking up my pain. Everybody could hear her on the video. <laughs> poor little thing. <laughs> yeah, poor little candy thinks mommy's bad, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. 
anyway. Apparently, I don't watch enough YouTube because a lot of these nominees in here is like, never heard of them, never heard of them, never heard of them. <laughs> was that Karen and Nate nominated this year? I haven't seen them. Yep. <clears throat> I'm new at all of it. I don't know nobody except I, I just fell, fell across Roxanne this year. Well, we we met each other on Darren's page. Uh-huh. Like, and I met her. That uh, is the bag I bought for, it's supposed to be a salad, but uh -huh. I don't, but it's a cat. I don't like, I don't like raw cabbage. I don't oh, like yeah. raw uh, I don't like raw yeah. broccoli shreds. And okay. it's got Brussels sprouts and radicchio. Radicchio is the only one that you usually don't cook, but it's not enough in here that's going to matter. So I pour it in and I'm going to cook it down with, you know, I'm going to cook it down with some, um, if I've got any left, I'm looking for my, uh, I don't know, chicken broth, but I don't know if I got any chicken broth left. I don't see any. Oh, yeah. It would make it tastier. If it had. Broth, you don't have to use chicken broth, but if I've got it, I'm going to use it. It'd make it tastier, though. If you just. Yeah, I know I've got chicken bouillon. So I'll, I'll just do one of those, probably. When I do a chicken bouillon, I do less. I do less salt. Yeah, because they you ain't lying, they are salty. Have you tried that better than bullion? No. I owe oh, it. You had if you tried it, it's so yeah. good. It's delicious. I have the chicken one and I love it. Yeah, I have I had that one. It is good. It well, goes a long way too, you know. Well I wanna okay. go to uh, what is it, Costco or Sam's they say got the big jar. I want some I want to get the big jar. Well, the ones that I have is a chicken flavored bouillon. The Mexican yeah, yeah, one. those are good too. Well, these are the Mexican section in the restaurant, and they're cheaper than the American bouillon. Oh yeah, anything will work. We're just saying that uh, this uh, is good. This is uh, um, dang, I can't even talk. Better well. than bouillon. Yeah, have, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, have a, I have a chicken one, and I have. It's in my fridge because it's open, and I have one in the cupboard that's a vegetable one. I don't have. But they got be They came out with the uh, culinary. Set. I can't talk. Culinary flavors now. These funky. I call them funky flavors. I won't get them. I don't get eat like that. I just stick with beef and chicken for me. For me, I'm a po folk, country folk, simple chicken and beef. <laughs> I do chicken and beef and. uh Sometimes you can find a turkey flavor, but that's usually around the holidays, and they don't last long. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't you get to only use that for turkey, yeah. Well, I use the turkey like the chicken, you know? Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. For the, it's like a chicken. But my head thinks of Thanksgiving for turkey. Although, yeah. this, this was good. I didn't have gravy for this turkey. We just ate just turkey without the gravy, so it was all right. Right. So I'm going to put some carrots in with that mixture and uh, the squash that's halfway cooked. Put it all in there together and boil it while we're talking. And then I'll take my little blender, hand blender thing, my bronze. And, uh, and I buy whatever carrots are on sale. Sometimes I buy right. Sometimes I buy the little little pieces, but these are about half. Cheaper? They're not that great, but when I'm going to puree them, it's not going to matter. They're getting where they need to be used or thrown out one. So I'm That's gonna, right. I'm all for saving money now. <laughs> they're getting a little dried yeah. out, but when you're cooking them like this or in something, another, it ain't going to hurt for another week or so to use them. Right. You have it, have juice for it. Yeah, if they get too swiveled and all, no, I'm not going to use them. But they just right, don't. right. That's like us. Yeah. Because I don't use enough of that to, to buy a lot more carrots, and I'm not wasting money on one. 
But this end right here is really soft and tender. The mm -hmm. middle is not. So I'm going to take what I can get off of it and see what it looks like. It's, it's tender, but not tender, tender. So let's see when I split it open what it looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if y'all like butternut squash, but you go to a fancy restaurant and they have butternut squash soup. And it's not just plain butternut squash in it. They've got some kind of other vegetable mixed in it and blended and you don't know what's there. Yep. So it's mm -hmm. usually carrots. But Mine's a roasted butternut squash soup and it's got the squash, carrots, celery, uh, crap. It's a bunch of you rough to cut and you toss it with some oil on and put it on a cookie sheet and there's another blend of stuff you seasonings you put over it roast it for a while and then put it in the pot, put it in the pot put the the broth with it and some other stuff with it and cook it for a bit more and then take the the immersion blender and puree it that's what i'm gonna do uh this was roasted yesterday or day, day four. It's been in the refrigerator. So I knew I was going to use it this week. So I might as well just go ahead and make it. And I'll have it. Now one tip that some cooks that put out things. If you don't want to cook every day. You take like one day a week. And you do all your cooking and preparation. And then you put it up in the refrigerator. And you just take out what you want and eat it during the week. Also I did the other day when I went groceries and came back and went live with us and they're prepping stuff. I was like, if I don't prep stuff, then I'm, I'll am i be sitting there going, oh, I don't feel like cooking. I don't want to make stuff. But if it's already there, I just have to throw this and this and this together and it's, and it's done. That, that's me. I hit the wrong button. Usually I buy my butternut squash in the container that's already cut up. And oh, dear. Have, what did I get? But they didn't have any of that this time. So, I just bought the smallest one they had. Uh, oh, there she goes again. Uh-oh. She probably don't have her phone charged up enough. I don't know why some phones take longer than others to charge. Hey, enough licking, dog. What? Hey, enough. Annoying. And this is more butternut squash than I need, so I may take this other half and freeze it. I don't think I'm going to need all of it. But it's just me eating it. Candy might get a bite of it. But. Nope. I've been known to let Candy lick my bowl. Or my plate, but not like my husband did. My husband let her lick every bowl, every plate. And he he even been known to go to the table and get another spoonful of put in the bowl for her. Nope. The only thing I, I let him I'm very selective when I let him lick off the uh, the plate. Like if he has if I've done something with eggs and right. like egg on the plate, then I'll put the plate down for him or but if there's any spice in it, it's like, nope. Because I know what happened when he got uh, right. it, taco meat once and had the poops for a week. Yeah. So. But I think I'm going to take the other half and put it in my freezer bag because it's... Uh, I don't know how, there's, if there's a certain portion amount. I don't really do that. Oh. Uh oh, they this I way. Until the uh, carrots and the other things are really the food for children. <laughs> soft. The right size for kids with little fingers, finger food. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to have a couple more things of chicken broth, but I don't know where they are. So the bullion people will do just the same. Uh, Did I tell you my turkey turned out, Roxanne? Yeah, you. What you, you said? Said? I think he did. I don't remember. 
I couldn't remember if you were on when I t said I was cooking that turkey or not. Yeah, you said you were going to cook the turkey that you got. Uh, yeah, well, it turned out, and my Ashley even ate it. I couldn't believe it. We're going to get a tornado. She liked it. Oh? My daughter Ashley, usually she's fussy and don't eat nothing I cook. She said, oh, this is good. I said, are you sick? <laughs> well, uh, if she don't eat your cooking, you, you tell her to cook her own, don't you? But she does. Yeah. I said, well, you, you see it. She said, because I, I didn't know no better. But now that I'm an adult, I know better. <laughs> I said, you're stupid. Well, when my nephew lived here, he didn't like my food. I stopped cooking for him. I said, well, you're on your own. <laughs> can i have what's in the refrigerator you oh but, you well know, usually I, she work all the time she's never here you know and then when she don't work she's sleeping in the bed so you really she doesn't eat much here anyway right so i i would tell him he could have it but i said i'm not cooking for you anymore because when i do cook for you you don't want it so that once a month like, i have leftovers well, yeah. I left it until it's gone. You know, that's easy for me. Cook once, eat three or four times off of it. Yeah, I've done the leftovers. But uh, I'm going to. I may take a handful of sweet potatoes that are in the freezer and put in there and put in this too. And that I'm cooking lady I follow, she says, cook once, eat twice. I thought, no, sometimes we cook once and eat. Four or five times off of it. <laughs> I've, been known till it's gone. I've been known to do that, but I don't want sometimes some. I'm more than twice. Sometimes three times is enough. After that, it's like I need something different. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes that well, I do it not because I want to, because you have to sometimes. Yeah. You broke it up. But I'm gonna take. Let me do this. They're all sticking together, but I'm gonna take a handful of these uh, mm -hmm. sweet potatoes so I can get them broke up. Mm -hmm. They're good and sweet, then. They're good and frozen. Oh, they're little oh wow! Little pieces. And they're good and frozen. Oh. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know how many calories or how many whatever's in this, but. As long as I don't overeat, eat like I used to, I'm still. It's good. hard, I tell you. I got to lose some too. I, I already told the doctor, well, we're not going to talk about my weight and my smoking. We got that out of the way, okay? I'm not coming in pain. You to hear that every time I come. <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke. We got a raid coming in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, Coach Mary. How are ya? I'm sitting here cooking my second item since we've been on uh, live for three and a half hours. I said, I'll just go in and cook my other item I was going to cook by myself. <laughs> and I, it's, it's like more, the more company she has, the time goes by fast for you. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Mary is from Jamaica, I think. Oh, wow. I think it's Jamaica, right? Welcome, everyone. I'm glad you actually have a friend from Jamaica. Yeah, let me make that up. Y'all can uh, see my face a little better. But uh, yeah, I have a couple of friends from Jamaica that I talk to. That's cool. Yeah. If y'all don't know Coach Mary, go over to Coach Mary's page. Coach Mary, I'll have to write that down. Yeah, she uh, does a lot of good talks on her. She's a good motivator. You well, know? I need that. <laughs> yeah, she's a good motivator talker. She's from one, her topic one time was about. Uh, she's from Cameroon. So, yeah, Never heard of her. Yeah. I from history class. <laughs> but yeah, I, I went to her when I met her. I think the first talk was she was talking about 
how to keep yourself motivated, how to keep going. Don't let the neighbor get you down. Don't let your brother, your sister, your friend. And so I go watch her from time to time. And so I didn't Coach realize she was on today. So I'm Coach glad she Mary. In. Yes. I'm writing her down, Coach Mary. I'll check her out when we get done. Coach Mary. Yeah, I'm putting a little ginger in this. <clears throat> What's that song called? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. She, that's what she's doing. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. But I'm uh, going to put a little garlic powder in it. And uh, salt and pepper. But not a lot of salt because you're, if you're using bouillon cubes. Yeah, they really, are salty. Really salty. But, you know, three or four or five rounds of my black pepper. And that should do it. And my salt somewhere around here. I had it this morning, but I don't know where I laid it. Here it is. And not much salt because you're going to get a lot of salt from the... Uh... Nope, there's Coach Mary right there. Hey, Coach Mary. Congratulations on two years in YouTube. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is Southern uh, two years on YouTube was her live stream. Now, did you guys see her? I'm just asking. I can just see her typing. You don't see her now? I'm just asking. Yeah, I see they're typing the raid. Oh, because I don't see her on her on the screen, Coach Mary. I'm just asking if y'all did. Yeah, she's not behind she's stage. She's not on stage with us, but she's there. Oh, I just wondered. I, my phone's supposedly a smartphone, but it's awful dumb. <laughs> yeah. She just came in the, the chat there. Yeah. Thanks for dropping the link there, too, for Danny. Yeah. But, no, she is does real good on her talks. Even though we're uh, different times, I think right now in Cameroon and Jamaica, it's probably close to dark. Good time for them, ain't it? It pro I'm not sure, but it probably is. Hmm. I'm, I don't remember the time differences, but it's probably close to bedtime. Now, I know if you're yeah, in I'm England, good. in England, it's like 9, 22 in England. So, I don't know what time it is there for Miss Mary. Oh, you can drop my link too for people if they need it. Cameroon. The time in Cameroon is 9.23 p.m. 9.23 p.m. in Cameroon. Yeah, so it's I'll the same. It's five, five hours difference. Yep. Yeah, you can drop Miss Mary's link. You can drop anybody's link that's on the stage or if you want to. Oh, you're in Canada. It's 2.23. So you're west of me. Because it's only 4.23 here at East. I knew you were in a different country. I just couldn't remember which country. Sorry. She says I'm in Canada. It's 2.23. So you're west of me. So you would probably be around Alberta. So. Anyway. There's, there's a spoon. I got you a spoon, but I've been on Just cook a while. Lots of people in the raid are from Africa and Europe. Yeah. The mountain time. I was just saying, I'm saying, thinking around Alberta ish because my mom's in Alberta. She's two hours behind. Oh, wow. I'm not sure where the time zone divides out there. Because I know we get past that, then you get hit Pacific, which is three hours. Yeah, do Coach Mary's link again, please. You're in Calgary. My mom's in Edmonton. And I was born halfway in between in Red Deer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, very global. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, in May, I'll have. In May, I would have started my my YouTube channel in 2012 when I first found YouTube, and I don't remember if it was around 2015 when I started playing Minecraft. I did a few Minecraft videos, but only had like 33 viewers. Well, since my husband passed away, I've got 2,280 or something views now. And he's been dead a year and a half. Let me see. Come on. Over here. Let me see. So. Anytime, YouTube. Come on. <laughs> oh, have y'all noticed that YouTube's done some changes about how you find things and how things pop up? I'll be doing this live. And usually the lives that I did did not replay. Now, YouTube, if you're over so many minutes long on a live, it shows up after your thing saying that I, I was live and posting it again. Is that a YouTube thing or is that? I don't know. I don't know. Like I saw Kenny's and I said, oh, I'm going to go watch Kenny. It was live yesterday morning or last night or something, you know. Oh, I'm getting better, so thanks. Go. 2,290-something go. subscribers there. Oh, I've gotten a few more then today. Because I only can see the first three digits, so it's 2.29. 2.29. Yeah, it was 2.290, but I, I think it was 293 or something like that. I may be oh, wrong. We're play this game again where my screen's going to go dark and stay dark. Oh, you're oh. froze again. It's being slow going back over to StreamYard. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go play this game where I got to go back out and come back in again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, YouTube also has, if you don't watch someone within so many weeks, they will delete you from their channel. They will delete. You can't see wow. their channel anymore. It's crazy. And then all of a sudden, one day, a thing would come up, and I said, I forgot all about your channel because I haven't seen you in months. Right. So. Then they don't realize you got a life. You got more than one person, friends. Yeah. But anyway, this is butternut squash soup, whatever you want to call it. You cook it, and then I'm going to puree it when all the vegetables and everything gets tender. So. You add chicken broth or chicken bouillon cube or beef or vegetable. If you want this all vegetable, don't use vegetable broth. So, yeah, but I'm glad I had a raid come in. That was kind of nice. Thank y'all. That was fun. Yeah, I'll come back now. You hear? <laughs> yeah. You know, hit, that, hit that like button and subscribe button. Whether Share. you come back and watch me every week or you come back and watch me every so often, that's fine. And hit the share it out, please. Hit the share button. Oh, and Miss Carol's going to start her. You, She's got a few subscribers on her channel, but she may start videoing some of her uh, funny sayings she does. I, I got some subscribers. Did you say I got some subscribers? You got me. Okay, that's one. Good, yay. <laughs> Darren, maybe that'd be two. Well, you've got a few. I don't know. Did you? I don't know how to check it. Did you? Uh, yeah. it, it, you have to go to your YouTube. Um, hey, look who came to visit us. Hey, Come on. welcome in. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? I'm how are you? Long time no I'm see doing you. good. Good, you, good to see you, honey. You know, I forgot how to do a raid. I don't know if I've done a raid in a long time. My Renaissance. Sure, check it out on the internet tonight. Check it oh, out on computer. Do you, know, do you go to the Renaissance festivals? I love doing those. I used to go and take my spinning wheel and I would do the Renaissance festival. 
And our Renaissance Festival starts. Oh, wow. Uh, probably sometime this month. No, so it's always been that, April to the uh, end of May, and I haven't even looked. It's getting that time of year. Yeah. I haven't done those, but I know friends of, that are involved in our LARP that go to those. Plus, I know one that does a lot of she does a lot of sewing and the costuming and stuff like that, and sells it sells it at Renaissance festivals. And, right now what is all that there's my name and that is your channel that's okay. your channel it just looks like a, it just looks like a long car tag <laughs> yeah they can click on it like uh one of the things she likes to say is uh chocolata well that's not I, how you do it. I, I know it's Chocolate, it starts with an S. It means chocolate. So if you know any German, you know, chocolate. I'm not even pronouncing it right, but anyway. We're trying to learn, but I can't. Yeah, want I questions. got Parkinson's. Tell, tell them I got Parkinson's. I can't even say that right. I have Parkinson's, so I'm trying to do the best I can when I say these words. And they, they meaning Roxanne, adventurous Roxanne, and my friend Darren, think I'm funny, but I don't think I'm funny. So the proof I is in the proof. I funny. She needs to put her put it on there. I did one video on mine with her, but uh, she's going to have to have her daughter help her do some videos. Oh dear, dear, dear! Yeah, you can I have drop no uh, home care <laughs> queen TV and link if y'all want. Uh, I used to have it, but it don't work right now. Don't know why, but I had where you could put hashtag link and your and it would come up. But the Nightbot decided it hadn't worked in months, so I've got to get someone to know how to do Nightbot to help me get my Nightbot working again. Well, I know when I do the, uh, hit, well, the, anyway, I don't know. Well, I go to something and it says my name on the top of YouTube. And then when you go on the bottom, it says something record. So I guess if I hit that button record, then I guess I could record myself on. Is that what you're talking about? Record? Yeah, you can. Oh, and then I guess it'll play on the, on the, to y'all, I guess. Yeah. I'm well, nervous with this. Add, I'm learning. Once you huh? record it, you'll have to add it. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm new at it all. Oh, there's somebody. She left us again. She don't know if she wants to stay or go. <laughs> I don't know, but my night bot ain't worked in nature's calling three months. Who's calling? The preacher. Her son. Did she, did she say no. the preacher? No. No. Anyway. But no, this is cooking all around. Oh, well. That's, it's boiling along over here. And how long you cook it is, I don't really know. You cook it until it's tender. You take a fork or a knife and poke it. And when the vegetables are tender, the carrots are tender, then you can it's take good. your look. Let me show my, I'll be right there. I got to show my blender. You tell that like me, then you know it's done. No, it's it, the blender was behind the computer here. And so, you poke it in, it says ouch, then you know it's done. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is my little blender. Uh, in the United States, we have a store called uh, Lidl's and Aldi's. Have these I like the color of that. These are a lot cheaper than the ones you get, the bronze, the national brand. And it works wonderful. So I use this. I like the color of that one. This is a blue. It looks like a, yeah, teal, teal or something. Yeah. It's a teal blue color. Yeah. So it will get plugged up and use it. I have a little thing it hangs on. The thing it hangs on was from my bronze that broke years ago. And I never unscrewed it. I left it there and this one fit on it. So I use it. And milkshakes too you can do with them. We've, I've done milkshakes to mix them up with. That that thing you're holding, Roxanne. Have you yeah, tried milkshake? I, uh, no, but I know you can. I did. It. Yes, they I did, did pretty good. 
I did my mother a milkshake with it. I didn't have what They're I needed. Fun. I, had I like using it. Is they pretty fun? <laughs> yeah, my mother was having a problem one day, and she needed a little well. more stuff in her. So I did that with some uh, something else I had in the house. I made her a little shake, and she drank it, and it That's helped fun. her. Help! It gave her pick me up. So. Good night, whoever's leaving. But. Yeah. But anyway. But let's just cook. It take it probably take thirty minutes to forty to cook it. Depends on how big you cut your carrots up. I could have sat here and grated the carrots and it would have taken less time. But I didn't. Because I cooked uh butternut squash yesterday. Day four yesterday. I cooked it and uh put it in the refrigerator. But yeah, I like watching Miss Mary and you know. Has right. your son been downstairs to see what you're cooking? Huh? Nothing. Candy's asleep on the couch, so she ain't caring. And if I was cooking a meat, she would be right here in the kitchen. But cooking a vegetable <laughs> that doesn't really smell, it's like, <laughs> I don't want it. Oh. Well, let me go, Roxanne, because Ashley's supposed to come home and I got to get the turkey out. Yeah? Yeah, we're going to pull it apart and have some turkey. And I, I don't know if she's going to bring us some mashed potatoes. I got to cook. I don't know what she's going to bring yet. Oh, but I got to pull off. You ever take your, your turkey gravy, your juice that's got you got left over, and take the turkey off the bone and make turkey and dumplings, or chicken and dumplings? Uh, I ain't done that. But see, we didn't say it's none of, dummy me. She threw all the other bones and juices out, so we just had the turkey. I wish I would have saved some of it. I so. would have saved the juices and poured on the leftover turkey. I wish I would have, but I wasn't thinking. You know, we set it to the side, what fell off, you know, the rest of the bones and stuff, and I wasn't thinking. So now I'm just going to pull it off the bone, and I don't think if she's going to get some gravy or what, what she's going to bring with it. I hope so. But we're going to have some dried you know, I mean, turkey's good, but if you dry, we don't have no gravy or something. Mm -hmm. Well, you can make your turkey sandwich with some mayonnaise. Yeah, on that. I did last night. Boy, was that good. We got that pink Himalayan salt and I put on. Ooh, is that good? Mm -mm -mm. We got yeah, the tin kinds. Yeah, I used the I used the pink salt and the white sea salt. Yeah. Oh, uh, she I got. Have, I got. She got the big one. The, it's a thin one. It's the thin pink Himalayan salt. If I said yeah. that right, thin. Oh, and it, it's good and tasty. Ooh, boy, that's good. Uh, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia area. But let me run and get my dog in. I'll be right back in 30 seconds. But I, I'm going to go. So I'll talk to you all later. Good to see everybody, okay? Oh, sure. Bye-bye. Have a good No, it ain't you. I just gotta, I'm, I'm lazy. I ain't done Enjoy nothing that. yet. Enjoy your turn. <laughs> see you later, sweetheart. Have a good night. Let's see if I learn how to get out of here now. I might not be going nowhere. <laughs> Let's see here. Found it. I hear candy's jingling. Now, now Candy's in the kitchen. She's like, I smell it now, Mom. I couldn't smell it from outside. <laughs> I forgot she was outside. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. So. I'm up here in Ontario, Canada. Yeah. We, go. we got up to 60 degrees today. <laughs> I don't know what it is outside. Probably, I don't know what 60, are you talking about degrees or are you Celsius? Fahrenheit, 60 Fahrenheit. My oh, computer, okay. my computer tells me Fahrenheit. My phone tells me Celsius. Oh, so I figure okay. when I'm talking to my American friends, it's easier to say Fahrenheit. 16 Celsius. No, that's not sarn. 14 Celsius. Get on the right city. Yeah, 14 Celsius here. 
a little bit cool outside, but not bad. Believe it or not, folks, this is almost done. But I need a little more water in it because it's getting a little too thick. Mama Four Boys just outside Columbus, Ohio. Home Care Queen, okay, Arizona. Appreciate it from outside of Chicago. Yeah, but right. I all this cleaned it up. And it's because it's. I guess I had candy out there longer than I thought, but another five minutes or so, this will be completely tender enough for me to puree. David, I didn't, I didn't see much. It got a little bit darker here. Um, the path of path of it was about an hour or so south of me. So. Yeah, we saw it here, and I looked at it through my glasses, and then I took a couple of videos with my phone, but using the phone was not quite right because I couldn't get the right angle of the phone to get the eclipse. I was... I was sitting outside, but I didn't have the glasses, so I was, I was doing a thing that you put punch a hole in a like a paper plate or a paper. If you should be able to see, like the shadow, if you look at the hole, they're reflecting on the ground. You should be able to see the shadow as it came across. And I watched the the whole time, and I never noticed anything different. But uh, my neighbor and her granddaughter were laying out with the eclipse glasses on, and they were they were saying, "Oh, look at that! Look at that!" And I'm like. Yeah, I don't know if it's anything different. Got a wee bit dimmer outside, but it was still pretty bright. So I don't In know. In some of the areas, it got so dim that the street lights came on. Well, one of the channels I follow, he had he had flown into Dallas. He stayed at Love Field in Dallas, and he was taking pictures and video and stuff. And it got d dark. The lights came on, but when he he took a picture up. Of it or a video, I can't remember. I may have been video, and I did a screenshot of it. But it was like there was the moon in front of the sun, and it was so dark that it looked, you could see the like stars around. I thought that is just kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all's lights came on outside. It, yeah, in some places they did. Um, I did some video and I was like, oh, well, maybe it's a little darker here, but it, it really didn't change much that I noticed. I thought it would have got up, since we're only an hour away, I thought it would get up a bit more darker, but eh. Oh, y'all went up to Bansville. Yeah, it was totally eclipsed too, also in uh, Arkansas. And a lot of people went to Arkansas. A lot of people went to Ohio. I wonder if I haven't talked to my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law's family's in Ohio, but I think they're more around Dayton. Right. But the uh, I went to the diamond mine in Arkansas, and they had a big thing planned, and uh, a lot of people went there for the diamonds, and also went there just to see the eclipse. So, well, I, don't, I don't know how anyway. much more. maybe my daughter-in-law and son would have seen because they're halfway between me and the city the city of uh, Chatham that was supposed to be in the path of totality but I don't know I don't know but these carrots are 99% done they're getting there well Are we yeah. gonna get we didn't get it till like three in the afternoon and it was central time when Ray was doing his video at the airport it was around noon central time so it would have been one it was around 148 supposed to come through our area. It lasted for about two hours. So, now when you make yours, do you add a cream to your uh, soup or milk? Nope. 
I had a little, I had a little cream to mine. I did last time. Mine d didn't have that in it. Just had the broth and then the seasonings. Mine had a little bit of maple syrup in it. Right. Because there had been a restaurant out here. It was um, owned by a family I used to babysit for. Right. One their, owned by one of their kids. And yeah. I had a butternut butternut squash soup out there. It was really good. And uh, I was trying all these other different ones I come across. I couldn't find one that I liked until I found one yeah. recipe online that I uh, yeah. yeah. She's making a butternut squash soup, I believe. Yeah, butternut squash. And David asked, do you like okra? I love okra, but okra don't like me. I've never tried it, and I don't know if I want to. Although one channel I looked at, they had got some pickled okra. Yeah, I like uh, fried okra. And I like okra, boiled okra, but the seeds don't like me. It's too much fiber, and I have diameticulitis, which I've got under control. So I try not to eat seeded things if I can yep. help it. But anyway, so y'all hear the noise. So, so. And when you use one of these merger blenders, you got to make sure it's big enough. Uh, tall enough pot, your stuff is deep enough for it to blend. If not, you can splatter it everywhere. I was a little too northy. But now, diverticulitis doesn't go away, but you can control it with diet. I control it with diet and I controlled it with a uh, colloidal silver name of the stuff. Now, so, avoiding stuff that, that tr triggers it and flares it up. Yeah. Because if you don't follow stuff, then you can run into big problems. See, that's what the, all that looks like now. It's pureed. Looks good. So, but I'll, I'll probably add a little cream to mine if I need it. If I need it. Ugh. So, it turned out pretty good. You see the green flakes? Usually, you don't see green flakes in it, but it was, it was a kale that was in my mix. I don't eat lettuce. I don't eat raw kale. Don't eat raw cabbage. So, cooking it. Uh, you see those marked down in the store that uh, have, without the lettuce in it, those mixes, you can use them for your stir fries, your soups, and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money, you know. I got mm -hmm. this pack that I had 30% off, I think it was two ninety nine, thirty percent 30% off. Might have been cheaper than that by the time I got through with it. It's less. Yeah, I think it was around three dollars what I paid for it, and then thirty percent off. I said, "Why not?" I said the one steak I got the other day was regular ten something, and I got thirty percent off. I'm like, works for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cooking for one, and I I made stir fry with half of the bag yesterday, and ate. Ate that twice because I got some marked down uh, strip steak for stir fry. I think it was for, and I ate that twice yesterday. And then I'll have maybe have this tonight with the chicken that I got marinating, or I could wait and put the chicken on tomorrow. You know, cook it tomorrow because as long as you cook, um, don't leave it in there for a week at a time. Your chicken still be good. You yeah. know. I bought it day four yesterday on Saturday. 
Yeah, but some people like to marinate their, their meats more than an hour. They like them overnight. Uh, I don't always marinate mine. Sometimes I just pour the seasoning and all the stuff on the and cook it right from then. But I was live and I said, I'm not eating right now. That I ate a bacon sandwich. I'm not bacon. I ate a chicken. Get it right. Egg sandwich this morning. Open face egg sandwich. And so I said, I'll cook that chicken tonight. And I'll cook some uh, sweet potato to go with it. But I've got the soup. So I may do the soup and the chicken together. Because you see, it didn't take long to cook that. Nope. Look at your marked down vegetables in the store. And to, uh, one way I do for, well, like, I like chicken and dressing. I love making cornbread dressing. But my neighbor made a dressing, and she put uh, yellow squash or zucchini. She called it squash dressing. And I got the brainy idea, food process my squash after I cook it. Put it in my dressing. Nobody knows it's in there. And you're getting a vegetable. So, another trick is to take your... Uh, take your vegetables, puree them, and hide them in your other cooking. I would say V, v does that quite often where she works. Yeah? To, to hide you know, vegetables on the kids. She'll... Puree, cut up or cook and puree up vegetables, put them in like the spaghetti sauce or put them in. She's made different breads with, you know, veggies all cut up in it. And the kids love it. And it's like, then they don't realize they're eating vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw somebody take, um, what was it they took? It was a vegetable and they pureed it. And after they cooled it off and let it get cold, they put it in with their bread. I don't know. It might have been zucchini. Yeah. You can do zucchini bread that way. And I don't like zucchini bread, but I like my neighbor's zucchini bread. So I guess the first stuff I had was just not made by the right recipe. So there's lots of things you can hide and they not know. You can make, you like vegetable soup, but you don't like certain things in it. Puree your vegetables and put them in there with your vegetable soup. Like I could take this right here if I wanted to. Take some boiled chicken and uh, add a potato, add some green beans, and make a vegetable soup that way. It's already pureed, and you add your tomatoes. And when you add your tomatoes, you don't see. Oh, no, we're frozen. Okay, now I'm unfrozen. She's still frozen. Come on, Roxy. Come on back. <laughs> well, back. yeah, and you froze too. We all just went blank. Yeah, we both guess, froze her. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's saying that four hours is enough. I've been on four hours and three minutes. Yeah, you were trying to end an hour ago and all those people came in. <laughs> yeah. But that's fine. Yeah, that's awesome. It got me some more hours. It got me another meal made. And cooking, a lot of people, I don't like to cook. Well, I don't really like cooking anymore either. I used to love it. I went to school to be a commercial baker. Didn't finish because I married my husband. We went and got married. The town I lived in, well, at the time, right after we got married, he said, I can't take you back to Atlanta to go to school because we lived in Douglasville. I said, that's fine. And then when we moved to Columbus, Georgia, uh, about five to ten minutes from our house was the co was the, the college. Well, lo and behold, they didn't have culinary of any kind. Bummer. Yeah, so I never went back. But now at age 64, I'm not going back because I don't. Why, why do I need to go back to get that piece of paper for things I've learned over my life? You know? Well, this is my, um, my youngest here. He went to, was taking culinary management. He was learning all the, the cooking skills that they also learn how to manage like restaurants right. and stuff like that or manage the kitchen and 
on the other side of it too and that part he wasn't really excited about he just wanted to learn the cooking stuff and then the college went on strike for a month and a half so we got they weren't doing the stuff they got behind anyways he he that was in the third term he got through to the fourth term he, he was down a couple subjects they was gonna have to catch up before he could graduate and then got into fourth term they had like a field trip or field study they went to niagara falls to all the restaurants and wineries and distilleries down there and when he got back from that he just decided he didn't want to go back to school so right he left it he left it there and but he's a great cook he loves creating different things and stuff if you're a young person and that's your goal to go work at a restaurant or to own your own restaurant and to go learn the all the techniques but if you want to go just to take a class to learn how to cook yep. there are different ways you can do that you can go some of the, the we have a college now i could go to five minutes from my house that has culinary but i don't want to go back but then i found out there is a program that you can go and i don't know the name of it in the united states a senior citizen can go back for free and they're called understudies i think but and i would get my degree but i don't want to go back and do that but for someone who wants to just learn how to cook go take a course or two yep. and or be like some of the YouTubers I've seen. Uh, uh, like I watch Living with Big Ben. Ben, his name is Ben. Uh, he's from he's from uh, Australia. He never went to school to cook, but he learned how by working at a restaurant. And now he's a sous, uh, a sous chef. In other words, he cuts up all the vegetables and everything, and can cook the products without even going to college. You know, so he. My son worked for three years in a an eatery, and for a guy, the the his boss had been on Chopped Canada as a competitor, but um, he worked for th three oh, years there, sitting. did some catering and stuff like that, enjoyed that, and then. He goes, oh, okay, no worries. Mm -hmm. okay. And now, I'm, since I'm in here that long, I might as well go ahead and cook the chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat chicken and soup for supper. <laughs> chicken and soup. Yeah. Chicken wings. I could take the wings after they're cooked and pull them off and put it in there, but I'm just not. I'm going to eat it separate. What? What? He, he, didn't, he didn't mind working at that place, but. Yeah. Um, he learned a lot there, too. Right. Learned, that, learned that they also had a flimsy wall and a great big shelf fell off the wall on top of his hands. That was scary. Yeah, but I'm going to... That's what it looks like in the bowl. I got a little bit of taste. But I may, add cream, I may add cream to it. may not, depending on, you know, I'm going to take another taste. The one little taste I did do was pretty good. There had been a big shelf on the wall that had all these spices and everything else on it. And yeah. he was... He was had his hand on the cutting board and he was chopping stuff up and it came down and landed on top of his hands and luckily he didn't cut anything it didn't break wow. anything either he, he he left there and walked to the hospital <laughs> called me that was on his way to the hospital i met him at the hospital yeah and they did an x-ray he's like well nothing's broken but then he asked, the doctor asked what the heck did you do to that knuckle over there that he had broke probably broke up several months before when he punched a wall but <laughs> yeah no now this, from does, this right here does need a little more salt and pepper so it's to your taste so i'll add more when i go to eat a full bowl of it and maybe a little cream but oh, what else is in mind grab my recipe oh i can get up but all you do is uh to cook these you can cook them any way you want but i decided i just stick it on top of the stove here in my pan that i just washed washed it earlier and i'm gonna stick a lid on it let it steam cool these 
fan, fan that I'm using does not have a lid. So I just pick up a lid and lay it on top. Carefully. Really? And just let it steam cook. So anyway. Mine had butternut squash, leek, celery, red onion, carrots, garlic, olive oil, vegetable stock, cider vinegar, salt and pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and bay leaves. Oh, thyme, okay. thyme, rosemary, and maple syrup. I never thought about adding a, you know, uh, like a sweetener to it. A quarter cup of maple syrup. But it, right. You talk, you cut up all the, the vegetables into chunks and then the olive oil and the seasonings you toss together and you toss the vegetables in that and then you roast them in the oven 400, right. 400 degrees for about 25 minutes or until browned and then you put it in a pot and you add the rest of the stuff and boil it for about 30 minutes and then puree it. Now, I've heard some people add orange juice to give it a little citrusy taste. That probably wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, but I buy the mango tangerine, and I was at the Dollar Tree, and they had the mango tangerine, and it wasn't the same that I buy at the other store, but I said, for $1.25 versus $3.25, I'll try one bottle. Yep. See whether you like it or not. Yeah, I'll see if I like it. It may have more sugar and stuff than the other one, or maybe less. I don't know. I didn't compare them yet. So, anyway, but it's been a fun, interesting day. So when I get off of this, I'll probably eat again. <laughs> I don't know if I'll eat now or later. But anyway, uh, I'll watch uh, Crazy Pieces. It's, I'm sure they did a video today. They don't do one on Saturdays or Friday or Saturday. But they have one on Sunday. But I didn't see one yesterday unless I missed it. They had one. Oh, I, I thought about doing a video myself on this. If I do, I'll, I'll do it live and show people. If you go to Hobby Lobby, if y'all have one in your town, Look at all. So you want this? Uh, uh, so you want this big old uh, picture frame, you know, or a big uh, card stock, something or other? Look at all the look at all the prices. You're gonna find that there are probably three or four different prices on those products. They were looking at one thing yesterday that was fifty something dollars. Then they ended up finding it for thirty something dollars at the at the back of the thing, and I did not know that about Hobby Lobby. So, from now on, when I go to Hobby Lobby, unless it's a sale that says that those products are on sale for, uh, like, the stuff you use for the Cricut to cut out to make your shirts, mm -hmm. unless something like that is on sale and it says the sale price, look at each individual product and get the cheapest one on the shelf. Well, the closest one here is across the border, Hobby Lobby. Right. But if y'all, that's just something I never thought about looking. So somebody else said they were going to start looking at other stores. Now, I have not noticed it in Walmart. Had not noticed it in like Michael's where you can get craft supplies and stuff. But I said, next time I go to either one of those stores, I know Walmart probably doesn't do it. But uh, I just wonder if Michael's does it. I don't know. Because I've been there lately either. Because someone said that Hobby Lobby doesn't have skews, but I know they skew it when you get to the counter. So I'm going to pick up the cheapest one. If I want more than two, I'll say, look, I want that price, not that price. These are the same. I wanted at this price. <laughs> yeah, so I think if I go out, because I want to go out and look for some more paint this week, if I do that, I may drive, go down to Hobby Lobby just to see the difference in the prices. Good idea. Yeah. I don't know if I want anything. I don't buy a lot from Hobby Lobby. But, you know, why not? It don't hurt to look to give the viewers that on my channel to know that, hey, that store is cheating you. 
and and she looked at one of the uh, items that she already had bought and when she bought so she said i wonder how much i paid for mine i'm gonna have to go look if i took the price tag off of it it was a picture to hang on the wall so it was on the back so she said the picture it might be there but she didn't go back in her video and tell you what she paid for it so but i learned my lesson don't always check all of them that are marked there good idea yeah so anyway all right four hours and 15 minutes and 30 seconds so go catch up on the videos i've missed because I, I thought i'd be on about an hour <laughs> meanwhile three hours later <laughs> yeah but i had a lot of people come in yes you and, did and i'm glad that you know i'm gonna have to check my i can do that right now let's see how many that came in and subscribed during that raid refresh my page because i got it open i keep it open I'm not wow. touching the I was 391. I mean, two, 2,000, 2,291. I'm now 2,300. Nice. That's awesome. So I went up, what, nine subscribers. That's awesome. So, you know, I had a raid about a month ago on my channel from uh, Twitch. The guy said I was on the front page of Twitch, and I'm going, huh? How can I, little on me, be on the front page? But I probably said, you know, I haven't checked my Twitch. I don't know really how to check my Twitch page to see how many subscribers I've got. But I said, I bet you, since I've been doing uh, for the last, before Christmas, somewhere, when any, right after I got back from TwitchCon, it's when they started letting you have all platforms together on mm -hmm. certain like on stream yards what stream elements and some of the other places and so i started i found it and i started doing it so like because i on here i can get everybody who's typing wherever channel they're from i just don't go over there and oh i'm actually just on stream yards but i can see everybody from any channel they come from yep. so I probably got a few more subscribers than I think on some of these other channels then. You might. Twitch and Facebook. Yep, some of my high school friends have, uh, they started following me because I do it on Facebook. It's Facebook, Twitch, and uh, YouTube. Now, if they've added any others, I need to figure it out and add those others in here. If they have TikTok, I'll add TikTok. Hi, Train. I'm just uh, going to get off because I've been on a long, 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 long time. And uh, I want to go catch up on videos and may do a short video to put up later. Showing me washing my wall. And I'm going to I'm going to take you through the process of everything I do to get my house in order. So. Yeah, and this chicken's probably almost done. It don't take that long. I'm trying to decide whether I have a salad now or should I should cook my steak now. But yeah, it's, at, it's five o'clock, so I don't know what time people like to eat. I have a habit of eating between five and six, depending on how late I ate breakfast or, or like last night I went to church and I ate before I ate lunch. Didn't eat lunch until or breakfast, brunch, whatever you call it, until around one o'clock. And then when I got back from church, it's when I ate the rest of the stir fry. So, and that was about 6.30, 7 o'clock before I even ate that. And then I went on a Zoom meeting with some friends. And, uh, but theoretically, it only takes like 20 minutes to cook a chicken wing. 20, 25 minutes. And so, it's been on about 20 minutes since we've been talking again. Uh, anyway, we will talk to y'all on the next video, the next time, whenever y'all see me. I'll be doing more lives, more more shorts. I'm going to take y'all on my journey to wherever I go. 
That's why I'm at Ventures with Roxanne. And I even always do candy. It's always an adventure. So, yeah. Now, I know several people who have more than one channel. I do have another channel, but I haven't given it out because I don't use it. I did it for a while so I could go to someone who was being bullied channel. Long story short, she doesn't video much anymore. She was handicapped, had a lot of problems. And so me and another friend, we were trying to help him out, got the police and bother us another story. But I don't use that channel. So I don't want to have two or three channels for this, this, and this. That's why I say adventures with Roxanne. You're going to get me adventuring in the kitchen. You're going to get me adventuring at the grocery store. You're going to get me adventuring at the mall or at Aldi's or at Kroger. Publix, wherever I'm at, I will do a video sometimes. So, and uh, I like to do it with friends or without friends. So, y'all come along for the ride. All right, we'll see y'all later. I'm gonna close it out now in the stream. Y'all have a blessed day.